Hello, hello, and welcome everybody, and today is Gaming Friday. Um, so, yeah, we're going to continue our longest journey. Uh, this is our part three of our walkthrough. Um, playthrough, I mean. Um, and yeah, we're somewhere around chapter three. Uh, we did take a look, take a small peek into Arcadia. Then we went back to Stark. Uh, we managed to finish the police station quest. Now um, we're going to guess, find out uh, who knows where the Guardian is. So let's start the game. So yeah, this is our save, chapter three. Yes, that's the latest one. Right. So we did manage um, to make Warren talk, this guy. And he did say where the priest or someone. Don't remember. Let's take a look into the diary. Um, <laughs> yeah, so more Sunday stuff. Um, at this rate, I'll have to get a new diary by the end of the week. Warren Hughes, uh, how do you pronounce this, this last name? Probably huge. Uh, wasn't a bad kid at all. Um, just an unlucky, unlucky one. He acted tough, but I could tell he was a sweetheart. Anyway, he is willing to help, but I get to do him a favor first. I even get to play the criminal. Yay. Um, his sister and parents were sent to the colonies he wants to find out where they went so I have to dig through the, the police archives and get a hold of whatever information I can at the same time while I am in there I could also look up the vanguard or the church of the Voltec which is um, like their cover here which is like their cover here in Stark. Oh my god. Yeah, th this fun doesn't make reading easy. Um, so, still Sunday. I get in, I get out, I get a glorious career in crime ahead of me um, if I want. And I feel so good. My parents would be so proud of me. Well, Miss Criminal, that's me. Whatever, at least I get the name and the location of Warren's friend, the so-called Burn Burns Flipper. Is that an actual name? Uh, his shop is down by the Newport docks in an old garage. Knock three times on the door, Warren told me. I'm surprised I don't have to say open sesame as well. Hopefully this guy, uh, Flipper, will be able to help me locate the Vanguard Church of Voltec. This afternoon I have to meet up with Cortez again. Cortez. And I prefer to have some solid information to share with him. Okay, so we need to go to the Newport docks. An old garage, knock three times on the door. <laughs> and say open sesame, I guess. Um, so we will be able to find this Burns Flipper, who would give us some information on Vanguard Church of Voltec. Okay, so this is our task. 
Uh, what do we? Oh, also we have this Vanguard Data Cube. It's a tiny data cube with a non-standard interface. It probably won't work on the screen we have at home. So yeah, we need to find where we could read this data cube. It's a shard of glass from a mirror. So yeah, we've got the shard of glass. And the screwdriver for some reason. It's a magnetized screwdriver. Magnetized screwdriver. Okay. Yeah. So I guess what? I got something on my face? Let's Is my hair go. okay? What are you looking at? So do we have anyone here? I don't want to know what he's doing. No. So I guess... Yeah, also here in the... No, it's not in here actually. Near the police station we have still a small puzzle to retrieve like an anti-gravity thing, if I remember correctly. We found out that we can go through the um, electric fence by using the mirror or laser fence, I don't know what, what's that. But we need to somehow dis dis distract a guard and the guard doesn't like dust. So we need to either make the place more dusty or make it less dusty. I don't know. Actually, actually, Metro Circle, Metro West, East Venice, Hope Street, Newport Duck. So this is where we need to go. But I'm curious if we go back to the police station here. It's a garbage container, and it's mostly empty, save for a couple of sticky old newspapers and bottles. Okay, so we can't do anything more with the garbage container. That's fine. I was wondering, maybe we could do something about the guard. Maybe I missed something, because... We only need to distract him somehow. Let's back to the street. This place is dusty. It doesn't like dust. Station entrance. No, I don't think we have anything. Okay, let's go to the new paradox. Maybe we will be able to find how to distract the guard later. Because, actually, wait, wait, wait. While we're still, while we're still here, um, I don't remember the name of that anti-gravity thing, or maybe that's the opposite. Maybe that's the gravity thing. AG control unit. Come on, go faster. an AG control unit. Wow, okay. Doesn't say anything about it anymore. Sure. So, let's go to the Newport docks. Okay. Let's back to the subway station. 
so I need to go upstairs, I guess. That's the only option. Don't see anything else. Ah, okay. That's the same location. That thing hasn't sailed for years. It's just a big hunk of rust with paint on it now. It's a relic of a bygone age. It's a relic okay. of a bygone age. Cargo containers. Cargo containers. The shipyard's been closed down, but all the machines are still there. It's a wonder nobody's bothered to dismantle it to prevent accidents. The city looks ominous from here through all the smog. Metro Tower in particular. Very gothic. Okay, so we have the shipyard, we can go to the construction yard, downstairs, and that's it, and some containers. It's the old shipyard, it's the old sh Let's go. Thirty-two Camaro in prime condition. Gas guzzling Camaro. automobiles was my secret passion before I turned thirteen. They were so much more fun than boys. Still are really. Okay. It's a rickety ladder. It's a rickety ladder. It's a rickety ladder. Okay. Crash. So where do we need to go? The shop is down by the new docks and it's an old garage. Knock three times on the door. Okay. So it's this garage, I guess. Okay, we have this ladder. Can, 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 ladder. Can, can we it's go up? Ladder. No, we can't. So why do we need it here? Why does it block all the view? Nothing, nothing else really. Just the garage and the car. Thanks for putting your greasy hands on me! I'm now charged with a fuckload of electricity, and any further physical contact will result in you being toast. Wow, rude. Uh-oh, it bites. Bites. Uh, still want to touch it. Uh-oh, it bites. Okay, I can't. Guess let's go to the garage. MTI Industrial Strength Paint Shaker. So it's a device for shaking paint then? That's so last century. Okay. Where you... there's ventilation, there's life. Where there's ventilation, there's life. It's a container. Junk. Expensive junk, but still junk. Okay. Where there's ventilation, there's life. So I have two tubes. Back to the construction yard. It's a container. I've been up close and personal with enough trash for one <laughs> lifetime. So, no. 
please. I've been up close and personal with enough trash okay. for one lifetime. The doors are closed. Need to knock three times. Trespassing, you gotta leave now. Where'd that come from? From the tube, I guess. I'm April Ryan, Warren's friend. I don't know anybody named Ryan, so how about fuck it off? Wow. Warren called you on my behalf, Warren Hughes. You know Warren, right? Didn't I tell you to fuck off? Yeah, but. So, fuck off already! Am I stuttering here? Jesus H. Christ, you think that fuck off would be clear enough as it is for even a slag like you to understand? I'm not a slag! Ah, so you're a gangbanger. Baby, there ain't enough here worth shit, you know? I got no beat with your posse, so fuck off! No, no, I'm... A corp? Yeah, I'd recognize a corp bitch anywhere. I'm legit, no funny stuff. Got my corp permit right here in my little hand two weeks ago. And I only do inventory by appointment, so you're gonna have to phone me up there, toots. Could you, like, shut up for just one second? Chill out! I'm April Ryan. I'm a friend of Warren's, who apparently is a friend of yours, and he called you a short while ago to let you know he's cashing in on a favor. Does any of this ring a bell? Ring a bell? Ding dong, the witch is dead. What are you, like a cliche movie chick? Yeah, it fucking rings a bell, but not the bell you'd like to hear. Think it was born yesterday? Like jacking in on a satellite conversation isn't in the fucking guidebook to good corporate surveillance? Jesus! Corps always underestimate the blipper. Like I bite because I see a babe in tight pants. I don't think so. You know, if the fate of two worlds didn't depend on me, I'd tell you to go straight to hell. Did I mention blow me, baby? Could you blow me really hard? Oh, you're such a bastard. Listen, if I was out to arrest you, don't you think I'd have brought an army of corporate goons? You got a point. April Ryan, huh? Shit. Channel warm scrambled anyway. Top of the line African scrambler. Fucking impossible to hack unless you're the blipper. You're telling me that that you knew who I was the whole time? Are you a psychopath or something? <laughs> or something. Sure, babe. Hey, hold on. Wow, this guy. Hello? Yeah, just come on down. Okay. Nice camera. Fish Dairy Indust Industries. Recording. Cam02. Wait, what was that? Into the pit? Wait, what was that? There's light down there, but the pit's too deep to see anything. They don't look very solid. There's, okay. So I can't go up the stairs, I can only go down the pit. Okay. Okay, let's go there. Okay. It's a guy in a hover chair. That's gotta be Burns Flipper. 
It's a mishmash of old and new computer hardware. Very cyberpunkish. Very cyberpunkish. That's exit. Very cyberpunkish. Chains. Okay, I guess nothing here. It's a mishmash of old and new computer hardware. Hello? Are you burn? Yeah, chill out, baby. Chill. Be there in a sec. How'd you get down here? Who the hell are you? I knocked, you let me in. We spoke only a few minutes ago. Warren's friend April? Warren who? I don't know any war Oh, Warren, right, yeah, Fire Lizard. Zeke. He's a good supplier. The Flipper likes him. Likes him good. You a buddy of his? Yeah, oh, you his baby, yeah. Oh, sure, I date 15-year-olds all the time. Whatever. So, what the fuck do you want? Okay. What is this place? This is the Flipper's Boutique, mademoiselle. I sell everything. Joy chips and porn cubes, strictly hardcore. Max, illegality. <laughs> what would be the fucking point otherwise? The satellites and BH generators? What I don't have here, I can get for a price. This place ain't your neighborhood S smart. Let me tell you, shop smart, shop S smart. Nah, what I got here costs moolah, mucho moolah. Are you in the market for a neutronium bomb, by the by? Got a hot one sitting in storage. Give it to you for a cool 100 million, huh? Bargain. Interested? Sure. Let me just check my wallet. No, of course not. Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> I need some information. So visit the fucking library. Or go bother the Oracle or whatever. The flipper can't help you? It's too bad. I guess Warren was wrong about you. Yeah. Hey, what? What was he wrong about? About you being the best there is at getting information. Any kind of information. I guess you can't help me. Fuck yeah, I'm the best. Best there ever was. Better than Chocolat. I'm the king of data streams. The emperor of the feed, baby. Figure it him what out. kind of information do you need? I need information on a guy called Jacob McAllen, and an organization called the Vanguard, or the Church of Voltec. Sounds pretty heavy. I gotta tell you, Voltecs and shit, they got security, top of the fucking food chain. You got something concrete for me to go on here, huh? Besides names, names are nothing. What do you mean? Details! Gods and the Jesus is in the details, woman! There's a fucking ocean of info out there. Gotta know where to start, what to focus on, where do I begin? Give me a map! Map! What happened to your legs? Jesus! Are you fucking kidding me? My fucking legs, huh? You wanna know? I wouldn't have asked if I didn't want to know. I'll tell you who took my legs. Captain Crunch. Now, answer this question for me. I'll tell you who took them. Sure. Are you a virgin? What? I ain't telling you nothing until you answer the question there, Trebek. Um... What do we say? None of your business. Then it's none of your business how I lost my little legs. Got it? Got it. Okay. I need information on a guy called Jacob McAllen and an organization called the Vanguard or the Church of Voltec. I need details, D E T A I L. Details, woman! I need something! I can't go on what you're talking about! You like talking Latin! Okay, so he needs some details. <laughs> you're weird. You're weird. <laughs> so are you. So are you. 
Can I open my inventory? No, I can't. Thanks for your help, Mr. Flipper. I'm Mr. Flipper. the Flipper. The Flipper. Call me Burns. Yeah, beautiful. Ha. See ya. See ya. Okay, so we need some details. We do have this data cube. I'm actually curious. Can we give this to him? That's unfortunate. So we can give him this data cube. Maybe. Oops. Yeah. Hey, Burns? I'll be right up. I got this data cube from the police station. Yeah, so what the hell is on it? You asked for details? This thing has details. Plenty of it. I hope. And you expect me to sort through this shit for you, locate the relevant information, dive into the big blue sea of corporate security, and fish out whatever it is you need from the feed? Yeah, pretty much. Could you? Please? Please? Shit, you're cute. But if you weren't Warren's little <laughs> play thing, I'd kick you out. And hey, whatever. Hand it over and I'll give me a few minutes. Just having some fun. <laughs> yeah, we can't do anything. Guess we are waiting. Holy macaroni, you do know what the fuck you're fucking with here, yeah? You do know, don't you? These guys are the fucking epitome of uncoolness. And coolness. <laughs> it's good stuff though. Precious information. I gotta hand it to you, sexy. You know what you were doing bringing this to the flipsta. Flipsta. So, what can you tell me about the Vanguard? Is there anything in there about where they're located and how to get access to their files? Shit! Aren't you a little too eager to trot with the beast, babe? Slow down, chill. I'll tell you what you need to know. But first, take a look at this recording. Garden. Step over to the screen there. I'll play it back for you, okay? Okay. To join in the effort, we must charge forward into a new era of compassion, companionship, and goodwill. An era of expansion and enrichment. A golden era. We must forge a future for ourselves, our children, and our children's children that can withstand the forces that oppose us. We shall be victorious. What the Church of Voltec was created to do is bring spirituality back into our lives and into our world. Spirituality and knowledge. Our enemies have suppressed the truth for too long. We can no longer stand idly by while they spread their lies and their disinformation to the people of our planet. We must fight back. We must take to arms and defend ourselves against our oppressors. I am not my nature a man of violence, nor are you. I know that. But the time comes when all people must do their duty to protect their ideology and to preserve their beliefs. That time has come. Our time has come. We will do what we must to protect ourselves and our families. We will do what we must to defend our beliefs against the heretics. 
We will go to war, if that's what it takes. Who was that? He was incredibly charismatic, but cold. Who do you think? Your friend and mine, Mr. Jacob McGowan. Head honcho of the Church of Voltec, or the Vanguard if you wish. Supposed peaceful philosopher dude. Not the case, as it turns out. Obvious Hitler complex, real Nazi wannabe. This is heavy, dangerous shit you got here, and I love it. But I thought the Church of Voltec was a peaceful religion dedicated only to meditation and philosophy. You and 20 billion other souls, Missy. This is the truth, as clear as simple as butter. Now take a look at this, on the screen again. Who's this? That's a guy named Gordon Halloway. Evil looking dude, huh? Turns out he's McAllen's right hand man, runs the Vanguard's secret ops. There's a gold mine of info on this data cube. Yeah! The Vanguard have a bunch of agents that they've bred in tanks. Their grasp of genetic engineering far surpasses anything I've seen so far. I've seen everything. From what I can tell, the Vanguard are up against an enemy they call the Fathers of the Sentinel. I don't know who the fuck they are, but I'll find out. Must be the good guys, though, if they're fighting these creeps. Anyhow, this guy Gordon, he was originally intended for some kind of religious duty, whatever the hell it was for the Sentinel dudes. Let's say, like, Dalai Lama or whatever. But the Vanguard kidnapped him before he was ready, and they did some shit with him, some experiments to try to use his powers, and I'm thinking this spiritual crap, it's just bullshit. But, both the Vanguard and these Sentinel dudes, they believe this kid has powers, that he's destined for something very important, so when the Vanguard grab him, that's like, holy shit, fucking big deal. What kind of experiments did they perform on the child? Weird fucking things. Trying to control these powers he has? They fuck up big time, though. And the kid is totally screwed up. Split in half in some spiritual way. One part chaotic, the other pure logic. Hmm. So now this dude Gordon, he's like the coldest motherfucker you'll ever meet, so stay out of his way. According to these documents, he'll kill somebody for cutting in line ahead of him, which I'll do too. You know, or like coughing in his own direction, which I'd fucking lop your head off for, but anyway. Now, he runs the whole dark side of the Church of Voltec, and I'm guessing he's next in line to take over. After old man McCallum leaves this earthly realm, which could take ages, I'm afraid, with the tech these guys got. How come the police were able to gather this much information on the Vanguard, and yet they don't do anything about it? I don't know, maybe it's routine. Maybe they want something on the bastards to pressure them when they really need to. And maybe the information just got lost in the system. The fact is, though, that with assholes like these walking among us, we're not safe. None of us. Least of all you. So please don't hang around longer than necessary. Yeah. So, okay, these guys are badasses. And I should stay as far away from them as possible. Disregarding that, however, where are the Vanguard headquarters? Uh, you're either very brave or very stupid, Chiquita. But, whichever it is, I shouldn't tell you. Why? Because I'm a girl and I can't take care of myself? No, because anybody who fucks with these guys is sure to end up with a bullet lodged in the back of their skull. Or worse. I'll take that chance. Shit. You know, I'm the flipper. The flipper. The flipper. I'm not into this shit, you know. I'm strictly into sales and profit. This detective shit you're doing. What the hell is it? Are you... Why are you doing it? That's, uh... Very long story. It's some other time, yeah? I really need that information, Mr. Flipper. Okay, chill, dick smack. I got it. I got it. You see, the church has several unofficial headquarters round and about, but they're insignificant. Cover operation, basically. There's no concrete address on this data cube you gave me, but I scanned it through some online records quickly, and I discovered that the Voltex, the Vanguard, are linked to a very big company indeed. Which is... MTI, Malkuth Technologies Incorporated. Big guys. Almost as big as Bokamba Mercer. Fake the hell out of me. But it looks like the head honchos of the Vanguard may be running MTI. Which is kind of funny, because I got some beef with MTI. Some heavy duty beef. And now I got something to hit them back with, fuckers. What does that mean? That MTI is run by the Vanguard? 
It means that wherever the corporate headquarters of MTI are, you'll probably find the Vanguard Elite. And do you know where the MTI corporate headquarters are located? I'm the flipper, dude! What the fuck do you think, shit? Don't answer that. Grendel Avenue. Prendel I don't Avenue. know where that is. You don't know where Grendel Avenue is? Holy Christ! You're kidding, yeah? That's like the numero uno neighborhood in Newport. Only oh, the top dogs live there. Apartments go for hundreds of millions of dollars. How do I get there? Sorry, babe. A slag like you are stuck on the ground level for all eternity. There's no stepping up in the world for you. you gotta have proper ID, top level ID, to get to Grendel Avenue. And you don't, babe. Sorry. Oh, so that's upstairs. We've been there. Well, we've been with the entrance to that thing. Uh, Anya san, hello. Sorry, I didn't notice. How are you doing? Okay, uh, so that was a lot of information. Nothing in the in the diary. Hey, Burns. I'll be right up. What is it? Yeah, we need some kind of ID to go upstairs. Could you fix me up with some fake identification? Why would you want that? How else am I going to get to Grendel Avenue? Hey, I'm warning you, don't fuck with those Vanguard shitheads. Yeah, they bite. And I bet you they don't let go like fucking... What do you call those little fucking dogs that don't let go? Pitbull Terriers? Shit! Man, those things are nasty, fucking wicked nasty. Can we discuss the fake identification I need? Baby, I gotta tell you, it's gonna cost you cash only. You got a lot of cash? Lots of it. You better come it out of your ears, baby. And sorry, friend of a friend and all, but it ain't cheap. And I advise you to forget about it pronto. Let me worry about that. How much will it cost me? I have, like, $300. 300 yeah. Ha! Ha ha! Try 20k on for size, shortcake. Sorry, little missy, but fake IDs cost a moolah. I need to buy a properly generated key from a connection downtown. I need an authorized blank card. You're an idiot. It don't come cheap, that stuff. Even if I cut out my profit, which for a friend of Warren's, I just may. <laughs> It'll still come to $15,000, baby. <laughs> Alternative forms of payment? <laughs> Would you consider alternative forms of payment for a fake ID? Just desperate. Sorry, Chiquita, that urge disappeared with my little legs. <laughs> no! Oh, not that! God forbid! More like a, a favor or something you need. Don't think I need a... Whoa! God! Shit, it gets me every time. What's up with your chair? Ah, the anti-grav control unit is fried uh -huh. like fried taters, brainiac. Ah, it'll be gone, gone, gone for a good in a few days. But I hope my good friend, my buddy, my mate, Freaky Sales, gets me a new one before that, so it don't fall down. If I get you a new anti-grav control unit, would that get me a fake ID? <laughs> If you found a good one that actually works, and one that can lift more than 200 kilos, hey, sure, like you're gonna find one. <laughs> I've seen one. What would I need to get you to pay for a fake ID? A new working AG control unit from my chair would be real nice, wicked nice. Okay. Thanks. Sure. Sure. Okay. That was interesting. Uh, let's see. Diary. Burns Flipper. Okay. Now there's... What? Now there's an eccentric. 
a bastard as well, not to mention big asshole, major jerk, and total idiot, but reasonably friendly. <laughs> and definitely interesting. Some people might say, oh my god. An enigmatic man? Not me though. Uh, I never use the word enigmatic to describe anybody or anything. He was helpful though and managed to decode this data crystal that I found in the archives. The church of Voltec is apparently associated with MTI and their headquarters are up on the Grendel Avenue, uh, but, uh, but I can't get up there without access to the upper levels of the city. And they'd never give that to a low life like me, so I have to fake it. The flipper can uh, help me with, uh, th with this too, but it's gonna cost a lot, so unless I can find a replacement anti-grav unit, for his chair, I am well out of luck. Now, where did I see an anti-grav unit today? Yeah, we did see one. So I guess we need to find a way to grab it. Do we have anything Very else cyber here? Punkish. Very cyberpunkish. Um, I would like to rewatch the beginning of the cutscene. Video replay, maybe? Mercurier Rivola? What what is that? Ah, okay. You can skip it? Ah, okay, Ex escape. Okay, that's not the video we're looking for. Flipper or on Gordon Holloway. Jacob McLean's taped speech. Okay, so Jacob McLean is like a leader um, of this church of Voltec. Spoke complete gibberish. We will do what we must to protect our lives and our families. We will do what we must to defend our beliefs against the heretics. We will, we will go to war if that's what it takes. Okay. The flipper on the Gordon Holloway. It's a guy named Gold Gordon Holloway. Evil looking dude. Without his McLean right hand man runs the Vanguard secret ops. There is the gold mine of info on his day on this data cube, yeah. The Vanguard have a bunch of agents that they've bred in tanks. I don't remember this. Their group of genetic engineering for surprises, anything? Yeah. From what I can tell, Vanguard are up against an enemy that they call the Fathers or the Sentinel. Yeah, we know that. Don't know who they are, but I'll find out. Must be good guys, though. They're fighting these creeps. Anyhow, this guy, Gordon. He was originally intended for some kind of religious duty, whatever the hell it was, for the sentinel, for the sentinel dudes. Let's say like the Dalai, Dalai, Dalai Lama or whatever. Um, but the vanguard kidnapped him before he was ready and they did some shit to him, some experiments to try to use his powers. 
and I'm thinking uh, the spiritual crap it's just bullshit but so this Gordon Holloway guy uh, looks like he is the Gordon or the candidate for the Gordon and the Church of Voltec, the Vanguard kidnapped him and did some experiments both the Vanguard and the Sentinel dudes they believe this kid has powers that he is destined for something very important hello Dark. hi hi how are you doing? so when the Vanguard grab him that's like holy shit big deal what kind of experiments did they perform on the child weird things trying to control these powers he has uh, they screwed up big time and the kid is totally screwed up split in half so how could he split in half okay it looks like oh maybe there is like two personalities of him well we will find out but yeah it's interesting to think about it one part chaotic the other part uh, the other is pure logic so this dude Gordon is like the coldest MF you ever meet so stay out of his way according to these documents he'll kill somebody for cutting in line ahead of him okay he runs the whole dark side of the church of Voltic. I'm guessing he's next in line to take over after old man McLean leaves his this earthy real realm which could take ages I'm afraid with the tech this guy's got okay yeah it was a little bit hard to comprehend during the dialogue I, I, I'm glad that we can review these dialogues come the police yeah we don't care about that so yeah and, and, and the police ignores uh, this church of Voltic, although they have the information apparently okay okay so we need to find a way to distract the guard the guard that doesn't like dust then we can get this anti-gravity control unit and give it to Burns Flipper so yeah I guess there is nothing else we can do here it's a mishmash of old and new computer hardware so we've got the screwdriver I'm not sure how can we use that and we need the mirror to go through the laser fence okay they don't look very solid so I don't, I don't think we can do anything here we need to find a way to distract the guard It's an industrial strength paint shaker. I've been up close and personal with enough trash for one lifetime. So, no. Junk. Expensive junk, but still junk. The smog is particularly bad out here, and the air even less breathable than it is in Metro Circle. Huh. Can we bring this air? to the guards somehow like put the air in the can I don't know where there's ventilation there's light hello yeah just come on down even if I could somehow squeeze through that hole there's just no way I'm gonna risk getting stuck 10 feet down and starved to death Okay. Paint shaker, huh? Paint shaker. Why do we have the paint shaker here? Uh, 
Can I use the screwdriver? No. Uh, okay, let's go out. It's a rickety ladder. So we have a camera there. Can we use the screwdriver on the camera? No. Can we go up on this tower somehow? Wait, can I somehow go up on this bridge or whatever it is? Because there is a ladder, ladder, or how do you pronounce that? But I need to go here. Cargo containers. Construction yard. Hmm. Yeah, how do I... I don't know. How can I go up on this bridge? Don't think I can. Yeah, don't think I can. That's that's weird. Maybe that's not the bridge, maybe it's somewhere else. But I don't see any way to get there. Maybe if I just go here, closer. It's a rickety lap. think this screen moves or anything. Yeah, that's just an end. And containers, garage door, that's it. Hmm. Weird. Uh-oh, it bites. It's a 2032 Camaro. It's probably worth at least a quarter of a million bucks. Who'd leave a car like that in a place like this? Probably the flipper. Or else. Uh, okay, I don't think there is anything we can do in this place. So let's go try to figure out how we can destroy the guard. Doesn't like dust. Hmm. 
have Hope Street, we have the Newport Docks, Metro Circle, Metro West, East Venice. Oh, I think... no, wait. We could try to meet Cortez. I have no idea where he is. Maybe in the movie theater? Wait, where am I going? No, not the subway. So yeah, this is the entrance to that um, upper floor or whatever. Wait, I was pretty sure that I could go from here to the next location. Maybe not. But yeah, we need to get the ID. And to get the ID, we need to get the... Um, Ah, I see. We cannot go there. So we cannot go to the theater. We can only go there. Hmm. T-Rex. Proving once and for all that brute force advertising is the way to go. Yeah, I don't know. We have a screwdriver. A screwdriver, oh my god, why can I, I pronounce it? Uh, but I didn't see anywhere we could use that. Mm. So I need to distract this guard somehow. Get the AG unit. It's a police officer. He's guarding the wreckage. Move on. Nothing to see. Keep it moving, ma'am. <coughs> Damn. Dust. Yeah, he doesn't like dust. We cannot talk to him. Mm. Can it plastic? Do you want that? No, you don't. Do you want a candy? Probably you don't, but... A sort of candy. No, you don't. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the police station. Maybe we can find something there. Where is the actor, dude? That was fun. Newport Police Department. It's a holographic sign. Yeah, the station is closed now. Again. Oh, no, it's not. Hmm. Tuvok? 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 Nah. -uh. <coughs> yeah, she doesn't want to go to the basement anymore. That's understandable. We have a screen. This phone, zero nine. Yeah, we know that. It's a toolbox. It's a toolbox. <laughs> the panel is open and some wires are hanging out. Hey, you can't go back there. It's a restricted area.
Hmm. I believe I managed to get everything here, but just in case. Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? What do you want now? I'd like that form for complaining about lewd and indecent behavior, please. <coughs> Number. 31366. So I still, can, I still can go there. The panel is open and some wires. <coughs> So it must be a reason why we still can go here. Can we use the screwdriver um this thing? No. It's a bingo soda machine. One dollar fifty for a can of the world's favorite soft drink. Considering the fact that I'm inside a police station, it might be prudent to pay for the soda first. Uh. Let's uh -huh. see. Cola, lemon, lime, lemon lime, strawberry, strawberry lime, strawberry cola, cherry cola. Yuck. I'll go with the old standby. Bingo classic. Boring, but safe. Okay. So we've got the soda. Can we? No, we cannot buy anything else. It's a can of delicious Bingo Classic Soda. Even if it wasn't the only soda available, Bingo would still be the soda for me. Soda, huh? <gasps> I have an idea. So maybe we can drink the soda. Uh, and we will end up with a can. So we can get some air there in the docks. Seal the can, maybe with candy and bring it back to the guard so let's try that so I guess this is it I don't think there is anything else to do here but yeah, looks like I missed that thing Can I try to just give the soda to the guard? Oh. That won't make the cop abandon his post. I need to come up with a better plan. And being a good Samaritan may be the honorable course of action, but it won't help me save the world. Worlds. Okay. So, can we... We cannot drink the soda, I guess. Bingo classic soda. So what can we do with the soda? We cannot drink it. We cannot give it to the guy. She says that we need to somehow like spoil it or whatever. Bingo classic soda. What does she say again? No, I know he's thirsty, but I'm not in the business of being helpful when I've got a job to do. I need to find a way to get him to abandon his post. So he's thirsty. He's thirsty. What can we do with Sada to make him abandon this post? Mm. 
Let's see, if we go back to the police station, can we still go back to that place? Or are we done there? We still can go back. Oh, interesting. Can we buy more soda? Oh, wait, 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 we need to distract her. Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? What do you want now? I'd like that form for complaining about lewd and indecent behavior, please. <laughs> Number 31366. Hold on. Hold on. So I still can go here. Oh, but yeah, I tried to use the card again and I can't. So I can't buy any more soda. It's okay. Yeah, I don't think we have anything else to do. So how can we spoil the soda or do anything else, ab else about it? So the guard like drinks it and leaves the place or maybe... Yeah, like my idea was that maybe we can drink the soda ourselves and put bad air into the, the can. No, we can't. We can't drink the soda. We can't use the screwdriver. We can't use the push pin. Bingo classic soda. Mm. Can I put the soda into the trash can? No. Uh, what do we do with the soda? Let's see, can I give the soda to, to the dude, to the flipper? Wait. Paint ah <laughs> paint shaker. We're gonna shake the soda. Oof. Okay. Oh no. I think that's quite enough. Yeah, it looks enough. This is volatile stuff. I better get rid of it as soon as possible. Hell no. It's a pretty volatile can of soda. It could explode at any moment. Okay, let's go back to the guard. Now I know what to do.
Wait, while we're here, can we wait? Wait, I said. Can we use a push pin on the camera? No. Okay, let's go. So, here, dude, take it. Would you like a cold soda, officer, to wash away the dust? Much obliged, ma'am. Oh, no. Damn! Damn it! I have to get to the service office before my suit short circuits. Suit short circuits. Okay, nice. We get rid. I feel so bad. I get rid of the gut. I get rid of the gut. Oh, gut. I get rid of the guard. So now we can get rid of the fence using this thing. Okay, and now we grab the AG unit. AG control unit is fastened tight with a couple of big screws. Yanking it free might damage the unit. And we have a screwdriver. It's an anti-gravity control unit. Such a tiny device for such an enormous job. I sure hope this wasn't the reason the shuttle went down, or, or Mr. Flipper might be in for a nasty surprise. Oops. 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 So, okay. Uh, yeah, now we can give this unit to the Flipper. Wait. Uh, are we done here? Do we have anything else? Just in case, I'm gonna scan this thing a little more. No. Okay, let's go. Here, dude, take it. Hey, Burns? I'll be right up! Is this what you need? Whoa! Heavy duty! That baby's worth 
Just enough for me to get you top of the line all access ID, babe. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, with this, I might even be able to zoom on out of here once in a while. Excellent. So how soon can you have the ID ready? A uh, couple of days. Couple of days? I need it now. Oh, no, 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 no. Ain't gonna happen. Shit takes time, you know? Shit takes time. Tomorrow night at the earliest. Can't promise anything, though, but I'll certainly try for the little girl. Tomorrow night. Okay. So what do we do now? Wait, where? What are you doing, dude? He's in a different place now. It's a mishmash of old and new computer hardware. Guess he's busy making our ID. It's, uh, the flipper. The flipper. Hey, Burns? I'll be right up! When will my ID card be ready? Tomorrow night, earliest. Yeah, tomorrow night. Okay. So, what are we gonna do next? I need to speak to Cortez, but I have no idea where to find them. So I guess we go home, maybe? Tomorrow night. What, what is the current date, actually? Sunday? Um, oh wait, that diary is here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Sunday. So Monday evening, guess. Yeah, I don't think we have anything else to do. We can just go home, probably. Maybe we meet Cortez there. Nothing to do on the Hope... Let, let, let's double check the Hope Street. Wow, it's empty. Except that this... Except this girl. Um, cathedral. Let's go check out the Warren guy. It's not there. Can we use the screwdriver on the elevator? No, we can't. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything here. While we're here, let's go check the cathedral. Well, let's just go home. I don't think there is anything in the cathedral or anywhere else. The flipper said the wait so let's just go home and wait that's to the cafe um maybe let's go to the cafe see what's going on there maybe we need to do some work to say it but I don't have time to talk to Charlie right now so what do you need to do there's nothing else for you to do we're just waiting for uh, for the AD hmm. 
Interesting. You need to talk to Cortez, but there's nowhere around. It's a pretty mural. To bed. make my bed, it's been too hot to sleep with a cover. So, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I have no idea. What the hell? Can we hurry up the dude? I don't think I have anything for him. I did say tomorrow night, but what am I gonna do now? I'm worried that the April Diary just says Where can we find the AG unit? How can we hurry up to the flipper? Or what else do we do? We've been on the hope street, there is nothing. We can't go to the Metro Circle for now because we need the ID. There is nothing in the Metro West. Okay, let's go back to the dude, I don't know. The old I don't know what to do. I guess we need to try and hurry up the, the flipper. Uh-oh, it bites. Maybe we can do something with his car now. No, that, that doesn't seem logical. Interesting. Be right up. When will my ID card be ready? Tomorrow night, earliest. So what am I gonna do? 
game. Hello. Hey, Burns. I'll be right up. When will my ID card be ready? Tomorrow night, earliest. Interesting. I have no idea. So we need to go to this MTI headquarters. To grab unit. Did we have anything else to do? Burns. This afternoon I have to meet up with Cortez again. I preferred to have solid information to share with him. We do have a lot of information. So how do we meet up with Cortez? This afternoon I have to meet up with Cortez again. I'd prefer to have some solid information to share with him. Where? Warren Hughes. Went to the Hope Street Cathedral. Federal, oh yeah. Going to the West Neighborhood in town. Okay, so we as in Cortez and myself have to find this guardian guy. So we know who the guardian guy is, at least. The key to his realm, we don't know the key. An old stone disc with four jewels. We haven't seen that. And the way back into the place, because apparently nobody knows where it is. While all this is going on, I'm supposed to restore balance to chaos and do the laundry, probably. I think that two days ago, all I had to remember was... <laughs> Anyways, tomorrow morning I'm off to find whatever information I can on the Vanguard. Yeah. So we did find a lot of information and we did order the ID. How do we find Cortez? Where do we find him? Conversational log, maybe. So let's see the flipper knocking. Serve to protect. Dialing the phone. Repairman. Zach's pissed, good for him. 
by the rule. Cortez explains it all. Cheryl's evening shift for the concert. So Cortez explains it all. What does he say about the meeting that she mentioned? Yes, I will lead you in the right direction, help you find Warren Hughes. We did that. When you're done tomorrow, we will meet up at the cath Oh my god. We will meet up at the cathedral late in the afternoon. I need to speak with Raul as well. Here we go. We need to go to the cathedral. Having that entry in the diary would be helpful. Game. But okay. Now we know what to do. We need to go to the cathedral. I totally forgot about that. Go faster. So we need to go to the Hope Street, then Cathedral. So where is Cortez? Not here, I guess. Professionals. Because I don't see anything else. Staring up support for their ideas. And Arcadians, those easily misled sheep, they embrace these ideas because they prophesize change. And change is always attractive to humans. Not only humans. The Vanguard are using a tyrant to force their changes into effect. They say the tyrant have turned to religion, that they have... Ah, the tyrant! Those beasts are not much for loyalty, but promise them money and power. The vanguard are probably ready to offer them half of the Northlands, perhaps even Mercuria itself for their services. And they have certainly wanted to put their filthy claws on that city for as long as I can remember. Yes, it's beginning to look quite bleak. What about the girl? I think she may have seen the light, finally. She does not know even half of what is going on, and if she did, I do not think she would be able to handle it. Better she does not know. Aren't you worried that the fate of the balance in our worlds is in the hands of a... a child? A simple country girl? Simple country girl? Of course. I do my best to help her, as does the mother in her way. Still, April will be on her own soon enough, and then... who knows? After all, she is the one. No one seems to doubt that. The balance knows, and the balance provides. And if the balance believes in this girl, we should as well. Spoken as a man of true faith. But of course, Father. You're not the only one who places his faith in higher powers. Speaking of higher powers, I have to go prepare my sermon for tonight. And what lessons will be taught today? You know the usual. Sacrifice, devotion, faith, the cornerstones of any religion. Even the vanguard seem to follow these tenets. They require devotion through faith just as much as we do. Good night, Raul. Que Dios te bendiga. Okay, what do we have in the diary?
Sunday late afternoon, I just overheard a conversation between Raul and C Cortez, and I suddenly feel very, very scared. The simple fact that the simple fact is that I don't know these people. I can't tell who my friends really are anymore. And there are things going on that I fear I will never understand. It's really frightening how easily I've, I, I've accepted everything I've been told these past few days without questioning people's motives. It's not like me at all. I'm usually the paranoid type. But I'll be more careful from now on and I won't trust anybody. Not without good reason. It's not that I think Cortez plans to stab me in the back or something. I'm sure his motives are solid enough. But I don't like being kept in the dark, especially when so much is ride, riding on me. And with a situation as complicated as this one, I just wish I knew uh, what's really going on. It is all. Okay. So, let's speak to Cortez. It's Cortez. It is. It's beautiful in here, don't you think? So quiet, so spiritual. See, I'm no Catholic, but I still like coming here to meditate, to pray if you want. If you're not a Catholic, who do you pray to? To the universe, to the balance, to the rock in this floor and, and the air around us, to you and, and to myself. What is that, Buddhism? It's life, senorita, pure and simple. So, what did you dig up today? Oh, nothing, except for everything you ever wanted to know about the Vanguard and Jacob McAllen. You got the information? You found Warren? He helped you? Eventually. It wasn't easy. But I know where to find McAllen, and I'm working on how to get there. I should be all set by tomorrow. Good news. And just in time, too. Things are not going well out there. What do you mean? The balance is collapsing. And magic is seeping through into this world. Stark is still protected by its strong currents of logic and order, but Arcadia is on the brink of war and utter chaos. Unless we act quickly, Arcadia will fall into disorder, and Stark will follow. Can't we get help? Everyone with the power and will to help is doing so. But you are so much more important than anyone else. You can travel to Arcadia to bring order to chaos. Yes. At least until we find the Guardian and return him to his realm. Yes. The what about the Vanguard? Game. We investigate your lead tomorrow, yes? If we find what we are looking for... If they have the Guardian or know where he is, then we are one step closer to victory. But we still need to find the entrance to his realm. And the key. And the situation in Arcadia is not getting any better. Not without your help. I don't know anything. What can I do? By just being there, you are helping. You are strong in the balance, April. And your power flows into those you meet and helps them against the tides of chaos. Whatever you do, however you do it, you are helping. I'm helping. I still feel so... so helpless. I don't understand half of what you tell me, and as for the other half, I can't help being skeptical. Good. Do not trust everyone or everything, and make a stand against that which you do not believe. Just be sure to accept the truth when you find it, and embrace the good in the world. I'll do my best. What are we going to do now? Tomorrow, we will visit with McAllen, find what he knows and use it. Then the day after, you will go back to Arcadia. Mm. At most, we have a week. But it should be enough. As for today, relax. Be with your friends. I don't think I'll ever be able to relax again. We pay a heavy price for our knowledge, yes. But try to enjoy yourself, because the hard work begins in the morning. I will see you then, yes? Wait, wait! Where are you going to be this time? We will meet here, yes? I'm afraid I cannot go back to Venice. Not now. There are... 
people looking for me. The Vanguard? Yes. They know what I am, who I am. They will not rest until they have me. So we must work very fast to destroy them. Tomorrow, then? Tomorrow. Have a good night, okay? Be careful. Thank you, senorita. And you. Okay. No, not today. Okay, I guess we need to go back to our friends. Gas or water mains, perhaps. Or... Yeah, we don't have anything else, Ugh, so... Okay. Sewer pipes. Let's go home. I was hoping that we would go to Arcadia today. And then tomorrow evening we go back. Get the ID. Well, I will see. Let's go visit our friends now. Man, those guys are in trouble. Don't they know that skateboarding is strictly prohibited in Newport? Where's Charles? Mmm, draft. Actually, I'm not a beer person. I prefer a glass of white wine or a cup of steaming mocha. Okay. Where's Charles? Where's everybody? What? That's weird. Okay, let's go home, I guess. Not sure why the cafe is unattended. Where is Charles? Where is the boss? Where is Emma? Where is everybody? Oh, it's this asshole again. Hey, what are you doing? Interesting. Uh, hello, uh, Billy, Billy Bob Butter, Butter Biscuit. Um, oh, they're here. Why? Charlie, Emma, what are you guys doing here? We locked ourselves in to wait for you. I hope you don't mind. No, of course not. By the way, I think Zack was spying on you guys. I caught him leaning up against the door, and he hurried back into his room the second I arrived. He's such a loser. And he seems to have a personal vendetta against you now after what you did to him. Or <laughs> what he claims you did last night. Yeah. Gotta love the guy. So what's up? What's the occasion? We want to know what's going on with you, April. What do you mean? Nothing's going on. Don't lie to your best friends. That's way below you. We know something's going on. There's no point denying it. 
For this three days straight, you've been away all day. You've been acting weird and hanging around Cortez, of all people. And then today we find out you've been up to Metro Circle by yourself? I yeah. mean, April, for God's sake, what is going on? Also, I stole some documents directly from the police office. Um, research for my painting. I'm just exploring the city and meeting new people. If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. If yeah. I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Try us. We're your friends. Whatever it is, I'm sure we can help. Somehow. <laughs> I've been chosen to save the world. Everybody really can tell you guys anything. So... Do we try to tell them? Or do we... Just ignore? Uh, let's try to tell them. I've been... Uh, chosen to save the world. <laughs> Stop kidding around, April. We're serious. So yeah, am I. Too. I told you, you wouldn't believe me. You're actually telling us the truth. What do you mean you've been chosen to save the world? As in, there's something really bad going down. I can't say exactly what, but Cortez is with the good guys and I've been... drafted. Look, April, if you're having some kind of nervous breakdown, we'll do anything to... God, I knew I should have kept my mouth shut. Forget it. I don't even believe in myself. So why should you? I believe you, April. I've seen things these past few days, strange, inexplicable things. And my grandma taught us that there's more to this world than meets the eye. And after all, it's you saying these things. My friend, April. I've never known you to lie or even exaggerate the truth. If you believe it, I believe it. And I'm sure the same goes for Emma. Thank you, Charlie. It means a lot to me. I wish I could tell you everything, but I don't think I can. I understand. When you're ready. But if there's anything, anything at all we can do to help, well, don't hesitate to ask. That was nice. There are a few things you can help me with. Uh, it was nice talking to you, everyone. Yeah, it was nice seeing you here. So, um, what could we ask them about? Let's there see. are a few things you could help me with. Great. What? Relax. Like I said, I can't really tell you very much about what's going on. Not yet, anyway. Tomorrow, after I've had a good night's sleep, I'll try explaining as much as possible. But there's one thing you can do for me. I have reason to suspect that somebody's out to get me, or Cortez. Mm -hmm. Who? Long story. But I could need some backup. These goons, these agents, they could be closing in. And whatever advance warning you're able to give me... We'll do our best. What do they look like? I'm not sure, but you'll know when you see them. I'm sure. Anybody suspicious around, let me know. This is kind of exciting, but you gotta tell me, what are they after you for? Did you do something illegal? Not yet. Not really. It's what I might do that they're worried about. But please don't ask me any more questions today. Just keep your eyes and ears peeled for anything weird. I need a good night's sleep, and tomorrow I should be able to tell you more. But thanks for helping me out, guys. I really appreciate it. We're all hanging out at the cafe tomorrow night, April, so you're just gonna have to join us. I promise. Now get some sleep. Sorry to tell you this, but you look totally exhausted. I'm glad we had this talk. Thanks for checking up on me, guys. Sure. Good night. Good night, Charlie. Good night, girl. Sweet dreams. That was nice. Are we gonna speak to the mother, the, the mother again? <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
Who was that? Cortez? Wait, wait, what? What's that noise? Narnia? Narnia! coming from Oh <laughs> Okay, chapter 4. M monsters? Um Oh, not again. Are we in Arcadia? I hope this is a dream. I really do because if Cortez didn't open a shift, who did? And how will I get home it? again on my own? Also, you're in underwear. Token, do anything? No dream, and I'm guessing this is Mercuria. It smells like it, like a mix between fresh flowers and cow dung. There's some <laughs> kind of part going on in there. Okay, let's see. Sunday night and mar or Monday morning. I'm not sure which it is, but it's late. A strange sound wakes me up in the middle of the night, and when my when I open my eyes, my room is filled with a cold blue light coming from the closet. Oh, okay, Obvi obviously a dream. No question about it. Uh, things like this don't happen in real life, except my life. They, except in my life, they do, all the time. There was a shift in my closet, and before I knew it, I found myself here in Arcadia again. And while last time Cortez helped me through, helped me through and back, this time I'm afraid there will be no help forthcoming. Uh, I'm on my own and I don't like it. Okay. What are the sounds? Uh, okay. So we have our delivery list. We wanted to finish that, but I guess not right now. It's wait. Darkness in the journeyman. The journeyman. Oh. Very appropriate, though it really should have been the journey woman. We actually need to go to the journeyman in. One map of the Northlands to be delivered to Ton Lyak at the journeyman inn. The problem is I don't think we have the map. Because we never uh, confirmed the delivery to the West Stone. Um, we just went back to Stark after the delivery. And we never picked up the map. Yeah, we don't have the map. But yeah, this is the place where we would need to be if we would have the map. There's something so soothing and poetic about the way the moonlight is reflected on the clean and clear surface of the water. Okay. So we can go into the darkness. Don't see anything else. Or to the inn. Let's go to the inn first. Don't like going into darkness. <laughs> ah, this is going to be fun. That looks like a really, really comfortable chair. That's the exit. It's their first date, I can tell. They're a cute couple. I wonder if romance is different here, or if the rituals are the same as back home. I mean, magic must play some part in it. 
Cute couple. Cute couple. We can speak to this woman. They don't look so different from farmers and craftsmen back home. It's a small world. Worlds, small worlds. Honest working men out for a pint or two. Honest working men out for a pint or two. Okay. Wait, what, there was something. Oh, shall Assorted we? bottles, herbs, and spices. Okay. She looks like she works here. Okay, let's speak to her. Excuse me. Hello. Hi, hello. Do you work here? Do I work here, child? I'm the owner. I own and operate the Journeyman Inn. Oh, I didn't know. Of course you did not, child. But be careful. Others may not be as quick to forgive as I am when you address them disrespectfully. What's your name? Benrima Salmon. I am the owner and proprietor of this inn. I bought it with money earned through honest trade in the Southlands. Tobacco, wine, slaves. That is where I'm from. The Southlands. I'm April. April Ryan. Well met, April Ryan. Have you come to meet someone? A handsome young suitor, perchance? No such luck, I'm afraid. I'm here more by accident than anything else. Ah, <laughs> no accident, April. Fate. Fate delivered you here tonight. You are strong in fate, are you not? What do you mean by strong in fate? You shape your own fate, and not the other way around. You are what the dark people call a wave. How can you tell? I am not only an innkeeper, child. I am a seer, taught by my mother, who was taught by her mother before her. And so it goes back to the dawn of our world. Hmm. To the dawn of magic. Dawn of magic. <laughs> Should have asked about the party first, but I am curious, what, what's a seer? What's a seer? A seer who is someone who can tell something about people, about events, about the past and the present and the future, just by looking at you. When I look at you, I see... I see... What? What do you see? Most people are drawn along by events, by fate, like a carriage after a horse. But some people know how to steer the horse, to change paths at will. You are such a person, but there is more. You're a wizard, Harry. Oh, come on. <laughs> Tell me more about my future. It is strange. I see many paths, but they are all dark. I cannot tell much except that you are strong in fate, and strong in the balance. And you are strong in magic, too. Mm. Magic? That can't be right. I'm not... I don't know anything about magic. You do not have to know about magic to be strong with magic. If you ever learn how to harvest your talents, you will be a strong artisan. Artisan? Where have you been schooled, child? Have you forgotten your lore? Tell me. My lore? Yeah, well, I haven't really had much use for my... lore lately. The artisan is the most powerful of magic users. She is able to shape magic and to use it by force of will alone. An artist can use magic shaped by others, mold it into new magic. New art. Hmm. A magician, or sorcerer, witch, warlock, can read and write incantations, drawing spells from the power of words. 
and the alchemist can create magic potions. He is the least of the four. Anyone with proper education can be an alchemist. The other three require some form of talent for magic. Is there a party going on? Is there a... Ugh, child. Do you not know? It is the Feast of the Balance. Have you never taken part in the celebration? No. Unfortunately, no. I'm... not a party person. For as long as I can recall, the feast has lasted three whole days and nights, and everyone celebrated openly. But now, this year, there is great concern about the Vanguard and their supporters. So this year, the Feast of the Balance is celebrated inside, behind closed doors and for one night only. There is still much food and drink, <laughs> and you are welcome to join if you so please. I don't think so. I don't know anybody here. You're not with the Vanguard, are you? No, I'm from... somewhere else. Far away. So it would seem. Well, if you feel up to it, child, you're welcome to join in the celebration. Thanks. Why do you celebrate the Feast of the Balance? You are a stranger to our customs, indeed. The balance? You do know about the balance, do you not? A little bit. Sure. The balance between magic and science. I know about the balance. The balance of all, child. Everything is in balance, and the Guardian watches over the balance and us. We celebrate the Feast of the Balance to give our thanks to the balance and to the Guardian. Hmm. If our devotion to the balance falters, if we lose our faith in the Guardian, then we are inviting chaos to destroy us. This is what the Vanguard is doing. Inviting chaos. They are dangerous. What's the Vanguard doing to destroy the balance? They are not doing anything to destroy the balance, but they destroy people's faith in the balance. They speak to the people, telling them how the Sentinel, the Fathers, are holding our world back. And that if we were to use the balance to our advantage, we could return to the old ways, the ways of the ancient Earth, before the Divide. Vanguard promised the people power, and wealth, and happiness. But they intend only destruction and death. Thank you. I am at your service any time, child. I am afraid I must go take care of my guests now. Enjoy yourself. Okay. It's a very comfortable chair. What? Uh, what is that? What a strange creature. Thank you, April Ryan. Uh, what? hello. There is no time here, but there soon will be time for you and I. Time enough to be sure. You are speaking to me, April Ryan. We have spoken. I don't understand what you're... And how do you know my name? Who are you? Have we not met yet? I was sorry then for confusing you. I will be Abnaxus of the Venar, ambassador to the Irede Council in Marcuria for a time. I think I would have remembered you if we'd met. Who told you my name? You did. You are saying your name to me, April Ryan. In this moment, you tell me your name. You question why I know your name, and you speak to me the blessings of the balance for my long journey home. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. It is difficult for us too, April Ryan, to understand you. We, the Venar, are not perceiving time like your people. 
In this moment we are everywhere. In this moment we are nowhere. Okay. But there is a veil. Beyond this veil we are not seeing, but you have. You will be seeing. You are seeing. What veil? The veil created in chaos, by chaos, with chaos. It is a dark presence in our future, yes, future. A dark veil which hides the things that have been and will be. What's all this got to do with me? It was late. You were tired. We have talked in the morning when you come to visit me. Now you understand everything. Thank you, April Ryan. The blessings of the balance to you, too. Did you just invite me to your home? I will. I did. I invite you to my home, April Ryan. My home was in the Mercuria City Green, and you will find it in the morning, before chaos came. I am explaining everything, and you understood. It seems I've already accepted your invitation, so I guess I don't have a choice. That is what you said. Good night. You will sleep well. Uh, wow. What a strange creature. Uh, I'm confused. I've seen a lot of strange... What? Ah, I've seen a lot of strange invitations in my life. Only a month ago somebody, I didn't even know the guy uh, particularly well, invited me to his suicide party with a cheerful card reading Stevens last what Stevens last Yuma I don't know I've been invited to a wedding between a 99-year-old terminally ill woman and a highway construction highway construction automation. Automaton. Probably. I've been invited to the senior prom by my best friend's father. But I think tonight uh, brought the strangest invitation of them all. This is the first time I've accepted an invitation before being asked by a creature whose grabs, grasp of grammar uh, range, ranges from poor to non-existent and not realizing I did until after the fact, like the invitations mentioned above, however, I'll probably honor this one. Strange, strange or not, he may be able to answer some of my questions. Okay. Uh, wait a second, I want to double check the previous dialogue with the innkeeper. Uh, she said I am what? Artisan? You do not have to know about magic to be strong with magic. If you ever learn how to harvest your talents, you will be a strong artisan. Artisan? E where where have you been, school child? Have you forgotten your lore? Uh, the artisan is the most powerful of magic users. She is able to shape magic and to use it by force or will alone. An artisan 
can use magic shared by others, mold it into new magic, new art. Okay, so looks like we are artisans somehow. <laughs> so yeah, you're a wizard, Harry, apparently. A magician or sorcerer, witch, warlock can read and write incarnations, drawing spells from the power of worlds, and the alchemist can create magic potions. Here is the list of the four. Yeah, that, that's confused me. She described artisan, she described a magician, and an alchemist. Artisan, magician, and alchemist. Who is the fourth? Here is the list of the four. Or maybe she means that there is this um, seer who sees the people, I guess. I don't know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The artisan is the most powerful of magic users. Artisan is the most powerful of magic users. She is able to shape magic and to use it by force or will alone. Ha, huh. then artist, an artist can use magic shaped by others, mold it into new magic, new art. So we're not artist, we're artisan. Then magician or sorcerer or witch warlock can read and write incarnations, drawing spells uh, from the power of words. And the alchemist can create magic potion. So artisan creates, able to shape magic and use it by force or will alone. An artist, an artist can use magic shaped by others, mold it into new magic, new art. Magician, incarnations, drawing spells, and alchemists or potions. Okay. Okay. Open fires are so enchanting, romantic, and inspiring. I really am getting tired. I should find somewhere comfortable to sit down, rest my legs for a few minutes. Have a comfy chair, but okay. That would probably mean that we would sleep until the morning. So nothing here, I guess. Maybe if I go there. I wish I could sit down for just. A no, you're not allowed to sit down. Oh no! I can't go outside anymore. See Wait. I'll stay here until tomorrow morning if I can. I didn't check the darkness. <laughs> Crap. And I didn't save, so let's at least save now. Crap. I really wanted to know what's there. Hmm, okay. Oh no, it's... The comfy chair. The comfy <clears throat> chair. Sorry, I wish I could sit down for just five minutes. Okay, go, go have a sleep. Sure. I wanted to check the darkness. Uh, This Cortez. No, that's probably that's probably the guy they experimented on, I guess. I don't know. Wake up, child. Hmm. <laughs> 
you're sorry. I guess I fell asleep. What time is it? It is morning. We need to clean before we open for breakfast, so I had to wake you. I slept right through the party? It seems so. You did not stir even when everyone was leaving. Oh well, I feel pretty good considering. You look a little pale, but it's nothing a good porridge won't fix. Yes, please. It was pretty comfy to sleep in. I'm a little stiff, but that's only to be expected, I guess. Nothing but ashes left of the fire now. The back rooms are both empty. Assorted bottles and spices and herbs. They look empty, and after last night's shindig, that's no wonder. Okay. It's the innkeeper. She looks busy. Not to sound rude, but I've had my fill of her for the moment. But she offered some porridge. Okay. Guess we go outside. Do you intend to walk about in that outfit, child? It is day, it would not be proper. It's all I have. Come, we will find something more suited to a young lady about the city. Yes, please. How do I look? Hmm. Okay. I thought it's going to be some kind of dress. Well, it'll have to do for now. You do not have the most womanly of forms, but I'm certain you will fill out in time <laughs> with the right forms. diet. Thanks. <laughs> the right diet. Thank you for the clothes, for everything. You will have time aplenty to thank me while you are cleaning plates and cutlery, child. I'm sorry. Work? <laughs> yeah. Those clothes do not come free, child. Nor does a night spent sleeping before the fire. I'm not asking much. Only for a helping hand in cleaning. Mm -hmm. All right. Tell me where to start. You can start carrying in the mugs from the back room. You did good work for me today, child. More than was required. Here you are. Some coin to help you out. Oh. Now we can gamble the bird. And keep the clothes. You seem to have grown into them already. I look like a serving maid. No, you don't. Okay. So we have... Oh! How many coins do I have? I got a whole handful of these Arcadian iron coins. Ah, nice. Nice. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Um, barrels. Barrels. Still can talk to her, okay. Excuse me? Yes. Oh, it is you. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, child. Ah, okay. Guess we're not supposed to talk to her. So, yeah, let's go outside. Oh, wow. A lot of people. Square jaw and broad shoulders. A real farm boy. Quite a sexy one, too. Mm, okay. I wonder if she's caught anything today. Funny animal. That's a funny looking animal. Good beast. His hide feels like a turtle's, but 
softer. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Okay. Wagon. It's a small wagon pulled by one of those strange beasts. Okay, to the city. Well, now we don't ever discover what was in the dark, but it's okay. So, pier, city gates, city green, marketplace, and you went in, rest house. What is the city green? Never been here before. It's a flower bed. There's plenty of room for more seeds to be planted in there. It's a flower bed. To the city. It looks to have been carved out of a large tree, but the texture of the house is more stone than bark. Oh, I guess this is our... Um that's one mother of a plant. I wonder if it's a carnivore. Okay, let's go. It's a solid oak door. Let's go knock on the door. Enter, honored guest. Yes. And I would have been with you presently. Some of them look to be in English, but I know they're not. It's the Alton language Tobias told me about. The tongue of magic. Sounds a little disgusting, to be honest. Be welcome, stranger, to my abode. Stranger? Stranger? Don't you remember me? You invited me here. Every moment we meet, and every moment we part, you are both stranger and friend, April Ryan. Okay. I'm sorry, but could you try to be a little less obtuse this time? I have a hard time understanding half of what you say. I will beg for your forgiveness, April Ryan. I had a hard time to make myself understood amongst other peoples. peoples. I will pull myself into this moment, difficult as it may be, so that we can communicate and so that you may understand. It is important that you understand, April Ryan, very important. Who are you? I am Abnaxus of the Venar, ambassador to the Ired Council in Marcuria. My people live far from here, and they do rarely visit your kind, and so I am their sole link to humans and Domari. Why is that? I alone among the Venar am able to focus on a particular moment and thread in time, and so to speak with those who flow with time, like you. Mm -hmm. How do your people perceive time? It is hard to explain. Any moment before this moment and any moment after is the same to me as this one. I have lived already and I am yet to live. Do you understand me? Nope. I think so, but how's that possible? Everything is possible, April Ryan. There is magic and there is science. And between the two, 
Everything is possible. Can you see the future? To me, every moment is the same. There is no future. I can relate moments you have yet to see, and I can unravel possible threads. But remember, the future I see may not be the one into which you walk. Hmm. Moments and threads fluctuate, change. I can remember things that have never come to pass, and I have seen things that will never be. So you can't tell the future? I would see your possible futures, the likely threads among hundreds. If there was not a veil in time, I would. What's this veil you keep talking about? Somewhere ahead, in our path, there is a dark veil through which I cannot pass. Past which I cannot see. It is disconcerting to me to be blocked from the moments of my life. How did this veil come to be? It was, no, will be created in chaos, by chaos, to keep the future hidden. All threads converge on a single point here, beyond the veil, and this will happen only once it is written. Written? Where? In the prophecies. Tell me about the prophecies. Words have been written by seers who can discern from all possible threads the threads that are certain to be woven. These words are the prophecies. And what do the prophecies say? Prophecies speak of a time when the balance will falter, weakened by the assault of chaos and its servants. The moment the veil falls is the moment of uncertainty. The balance may stand, the balance may fall. I cannot tell which it will be, and I cannot even see the possibilities, the threads extending from each fork. But the prophecies also speak of a savior, as the prophecies usually do. One who will bring order to chaos, only to release chaos on the innocent. One who will restore the balance, only to finally break it. I let you finally break. That doesn't sound like a savior. The word in my tongue is Kanang La. Literally translated, it means the small seed who grew to a tall tree. Can I ask you a few questions? Yes. Could you tell me a little bit about yourself, Obnaxus? Obnaxus. Me? About myself? We, the Venar, are not good at speaking of ourselves. We always know who we are, and so we have no need to tell each other. Well, are you married? Do you have kids? Or perhaps your people don't marry? Yes, we do marry, and we always know who we are to be with, because our future is also our past, and so we also know our children even though, according to your reckoning, they have yet to be born. Mm -hmm. My wife was, is, will be, the beautiful Abyanda, she lives by the Bay of Fire in the east. She gave birth to our three female children, Abratha, Abalexa, Abpalmana. How long has it been since you last saw them? I see them now, April Ryan. Do not forget I perceive time in a different manner from your kind. I have given them your regards. Well... Uh, say hi to them for me. <laughs> Why did you come here to Mercuria? 
I was chosen to be ambassador to I read when I showed a talent for seeing the flow of time from one point to the next. I was trained for a long time in locking myself into a single moment to communicate and understand your world. My people do not normally involve themselves with others, but the veil has forced us to do so. Why don't the Venar want to involve themselves with humans? In the wrong hands, our knowledge is dangerous. To know of the possible fluctuating futures this can be a weapon to some who flow with time. We cannot interfere with your time. We are not allowed. Who says? The balance. The Guardian. The Guardian watches not only the balance between worlds, but also the balance within. Time is in balance. And if this balance is upset, the Guardian would know. I thought the Guardian was gone. So he is, and that makes it even more crucial to my people that we preserve the balance and not upset it. Chaos is our enemy, April Ryan, and we do our part to keep it at bay, as do you. Are you planning on ever going back to your people? When we pass through the veil to the other side and time yet again opens up, I will return to my people. I look forward to that day. I miss my people, and it is hard to speak with your kind. It makes me tired. I know what you mean. I'm a stranger here, too. You will bring us through the veil, April Ryan. And then we can both leave this place and go home. Where is your home, Abnaxus? Across the border mountains and north, to where the forests are evergreen, and where in winter the land turns white. Do you know Father Tobias? Tobias is a faithful servant of the balance. And he is a good man. He leads the sentinel down a narrow path, but he never wavers. We are friends. So, I can trust him? Trust is a concept which often puzzles me. Amongst my people there is never distrust. We always know the truth. But amongst your people, amongst those who flow with time, trust is important. A fragile thing. Indeed. But yes, yes, I do think Tobias is to be trusted fully. I cannot see beyond the veil, but up to that point there is no thread in which he betrays your trust, April Ryan. Have you heard of a man named Cortez? No, I have not. But that does not mean I do not know him. Names are often fleeting, April Ryan. He's my... well... Some have called him my mentor, others a nutcase. I'm not sure which it is, but I'm leaning towards the former. Your mentor? He is a shifter as well? No, I don't think so. He doesn't travel. Shift between Stark and Arcadia. I do not see him in my life, April Ryan. I do not know him. Beyond the veil, perhaps, but not before. Hmm. Thanks, Abnaxus. You are always welcome, April Ryan. I need some help in my quest. Yes, you did. I did? did? And what did you answer? that I will help you as much as I can, but in the end... I'm on my own. I've heard that one before. Uh, what is this? Dragons? What do you know about dragons? I do not know much about the kin, but I do know a little. Perhaps it will help you, perhaps not. 
The Dryak kin came to this world a very, very long time ago, before the dawn of man, before the divide. The Venar had yet to learn to be outside time, and there were few other peoples on earth. The kin played an important part in the divide, in separating magic from science, and in the founding of the fathers, the sentinel, to watch over the balance. It is said that after the divide of the four dry kin that came to earth, two went to Stark and two to Arcadia. But that was a long time ago, 12,000 of your years. 12,000. I do not know what has become of them since. You don't know where I may find these dry kin? No, the white of the dry kin, the mother, has, according to legend, been sighted. The tale of the silver spear of Gorimon speaks of the mother and her child. Yeah, we've seen her. Though I think this is but a tale, and far from the truth. The story is called the silver spear of Gorimon? Yes, unfortunately I do not have this book myself, and I do not know of anyone who does. What about the other dragon, the other dryak kin? Of the dryak kin, I only know of the mother, the white of the kin, although I have heard tell of a god who fell from the sky into the ocean a great long time ago, but this may also be just a tale. Oh. I have some entry in the diary, okay. What else do you know about this god who fell from the sky? Only what I have told you. Someone with greater knowledge of the ocean and the creatures that live beneath its surface may be able to tell you more. Wait, uh, who, what, where? I, I, I need to... Crap, I need to... See that again. Oh. What else do you know about this god who fell from the sky? Only what I have told you. Someone with greater knowledge of the ocean and the creatures that live beneath its surface may be able to tell you more. Okay, so someone who knows about the ocean. Have you heard of a disc that works as a key to the Guardian's realm? Yes, but very little. It has been spoken of in the I Read Council only recently, brought to attention by the Tyran Ambassador. He wished to know where it is kept. And what was the answer? No one at the Council knows or admitted to knowing, and the Ambassador was asked to speak with the Sentinel, which he is unlikely to concede to. The Tyran are allied with the Vanguard, and so are in political and ideological opposition with the Sentinel. I know Vestrum Tobias. He would not speak a word with the Tyran, nor the Vanguard. Okay. Not unless it was to challenge their philosophies. So you don't know where I can find the disc? No. Ask Vestrum Tobias. Okay. Do you know anything about a rift leading to the Guardian's realm? I have heard speak of such a thing. I believe it was where the tower was built and the divide created. When the earth was one, it might still be open. Where is it? Any idea where it is? I am afraid the Venar were never very involved in the affairs of the Sentinel, nor took any part in the Divide except to agree to the necessity of it. We had little choice but to concede. We are a magical people. We need the balance, because we would not, could not, survive without magic. Mm -hmm. 
How would I go about fighting Chaos? You cannot fight Chaos. It is not so simple. To oppose Chaos, one must return order to that which has been affected by Chaos, and thus reduce its powers. But this is not something everyone can do. Only those ordained by the balance can embark on such a dangerous task and survive. Okay, I think this is it. So yeah, draws attention to the god who fell from the sky. We need to find someone who knows about the ocean. And to find out where the disc is, we need, we need to speak to Tobias, I see. That's about it for now. I am glad I could be of assistance, April Ryan. Thanks for your hospitality, Obnaxus. Obnaxus. Goodbye. Blessings of the balance to you, April Ryan. And may your journey have been a long and fruitful one. Okay. Let's see. Ruminations Action. on the Chaos Principle by Roar Agastanja. Have a seat. I think we can go upstairs. Have a seat. It's a nicely crafted bench. Can I have a seat? Ah, okay. One of these benches. Oh, wait. Actually, I can see, I guess. Okay. It's Obnaxus. Obnaxus. Um, right. We have a new diary entry. When I asked Obnaxus about the Drake again, he didn't really know much about them except for a story he had heard about a god who fell from the stars into the ocean a long time ago. Whenever this so-called god, maybe it's a fair chance, it's got something to do with these dragon king creatures. Um, it might be a good idea to run by to run this by right? it might be a good idea to run this by somebody who knows more about the myth and legends of the sea okay uh, so I guess this is it this obnoxious guy just told us no stories. Don't think we have anything else to do here. Um, no. Okay, let's go. Okay, anything else here to the city? Peculiar house. Large plant. Flower bed. So what about this flower bed again? It's a flower bed. It's a flower bed. Okay. Okay, let's go to the city. So we need to speak to Tobias. And we have our maps quest actually. Journeyman in. Okay, let's go to the marketplace and visit the maps guy. Also, we have now a bunch of coins. Who is that? Remember that, I guess? Hey, you! What's going on? Why didn't you deliver any maps yesterday? I wasn't around, sorry. 
Well, there are more maps to be delivered, and my customers are getting very impatient. Did you deliver the map to the rolling man? Yes, I did. Yes, sir. All right, let me see his signature, and I'll give you your next delivery. Here's your next delivery, a map of the Northlands to a ton lion staying at the Journeyman Inn. And be quick about it. She's been waiting since the day before yesterday. Okay. So we have a map, map of Northlands. It's a map of the Northlands. I'm supposed to deliver this to uh, Tun Lyak, staying at the Journeyman Inn. Okay. Uh, can I play cups? How about a game of cups today? Okay, let's go. Just place your bet, <clears throat> investment, on the table and the game will begin. Uh, can I use the coin? Here's my coin. Now, how do I play? I place one cup on top of your coin, like so. Then, I shuffle them, like so. Now, you guess which cup hides your coin. If you get it right, you win another coin. Three in a row, and you win a prize. Uh, middle, left, right. Is there anything else? The table is broken, by the way. Or maybe it's like two tables, but that's weird. It's this one, for sure. Looks like you've got the wrong cup! It happens! A one in three chance, you know. But with coin in your pocket, you can always try again. Can I? Uh, let's save first. I'll try one more. Keep your eyes on the cup. Now, you guess which cup hides your coin. If you get it right, you win another coin, three in a row, and you win a prize. I have absolutely no idea, so I'll just take a wild guess and choose this one. You got the wrong cup again! Sorry. Try one more and perhaps this coin will bring you luck. Okay, let's try. I'll try one more. Keep your eyes on the cup. Impossible. Now, you guess which cup hides your coin. If you get it right, you win another coin. Three in a row, and you win a prize. It's this one, for sure. You got the wrong cup again! Sorry. Try one more and perhaps this coin will bring you luck. How many coins do I have? The I'll innkeeper was... Keep your eyes on the cup. Very generous. So which one, which cup do I need to watch for? No, it's impossible. Now, you guess which cup hides your coin. If you get it right, you win another coin, three in a row, and you win a prize. It's this one, for sure. You got the wrong cup again! Sorry. Try one more and perhaps this coin will bring you luck. How about a game of cups today? Hmm... Thanks, but... No thanks. 
Suit yourself, but that attitude will never bring coin to your pocket. Yeah, I don't know. No. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's go speak with... No, wait, wait, wait. We need to finish the quest. So let's go into the city. Turn your man in. Excuse me? Yes. Oh, it is you. <clears throat> I'm looking for a guest of yours, Tun Lyak. The sailor? She is looking for work today, I'm afraid. With most of the ships moored to the docks for balance knows how long, it is difficult for sailors to find work. Do you know when Tun Lyak is expected back? I could not tell you, child, but from what I know of the ships in harbor, she will not find one that needs a navigator any time soon. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, child. Okay, so she's probably somewhere at the port. What is that? Hello. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Do you know anything about a god that fell from the sky into the sea? Of course. You find fallen gods most everywhere these days. They're an air and a hand. Really? <sighs> no, of course not. There are no fallen gods in the sea. It wouldn't make much sense, would it? If the sea was full of gods just lying about the seabed. So you've never heard of such a thing happening? Now you got it. Bye. Okay. Um, where can I find the navigator? Sailor, here wants the bird. Hmm. So she's not on the small pier, she's not here. She's not on the boat, not on the ship. Lobster mer merchant. Guards. Fish merchant. Huh. Interesting. How can I deliver this map? Can I give this map to the innkeeper? No, I need I need the signature. 
let's let's try and see what's going what's going to happen. No, I can't. Um. Back rooms are both empty. Excuse me. Yes. Oh, it is you. Do you know when Tunlayak is expected back? I could not tell you, child, but from what I know of the ships in harbor, she will not find one that needs a navigator any time soon. So she will be back. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, child. She will be back, but we don't know when. And she's not on the pier, not at the city gates. Let's go visit our friend. Hi there, Mr. Westhouse. I'm back. My word. What on earth possessed you to return to this godforsaken place? You were lucky to escape the first time, but now you're really pushing it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that bad a place, or else you wouldn't stay here. Besides, this time I didn't exactly come here by choice. I stay here because I'm a true masochist, Miss Ryan. And who forced you to come? Was it Cortez? He doesn't even know I'm here, unfortunately. No, I think I had some kind of accident with my so-called powers. I shifted in my underwear. <laughs> no, ha! <huh? laughs> Isn't that the way it is, though? We always cross the rift at the most inopportune times. <laughs> Care for a drink? Oh, no, no, that's right. You uh, don't. Yeah, I don't. Would you mind helping me with a few questions? I have nothing better to do, so shoot. Do you know anything about dragons? I try to stay out of the affairs of the kin these days. What precisely do you wish to know about the damn beasts? Damn beasts. There are two dragons in Arcadia, and I'm trying to locate them. Yeah, I've heard that tale myself, but no, no, I don't know anything about it. You'd be better off speaking with the Sentinel Minstrum. After all, religion is their specialty, not mine. Did you ever hear a story about a god who fell from the sky? Stories aren't my thing, April. You should visit a library. I'm sure you'll find some stories in the books. I know the Sentinel have a library somewhere near the city. I've also heard rumor of a people with wings who do nothing but observe and record history through stories. But I don't know if that's all it is. A rumor. Still, if you're looking for stories, it may be wise to check it out and see if you can find them. Okay, looks like we have something. I'm looking for a disc that will open up the Guardian's realm. That's religion, Miss Ryan. <clears throat> and the only things I worship are whiskey, a good cigar, and a nice long... <clears throat> anyway, don't ask me about all that uh, balance mumbo-jumbo. Would you be able to tell me where I could look for the entrance to the Guardian's realm? In Tobias's pants, <laughs> if he had his wish, I'm sure. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know anything about the Guardians. Balance, or Sentinel, or gardening. <laughs> now, if you're interested in bullfighting, I could talk all night. Bullfighting's a horrible act of cruelty to animals, and not much of a sport at all. I'll just forget you said that, Miss <laughs> Ryan. If there's one thing I miss about Stark, it's bullfighting. 
You'll be happy to hear then that they abolished bullfighting hundreds of years ago. Damn. So to know about the flying people, we need to speak to what Tobias. What did you say about the flying people? Again. They're supposed to be great storytellers, and they've been observing this world for a very long time. But it could only be a rumor. I can't think of any more questions for now. Then let's talk about other things, shall we? Thanks, Mr. Westhouse. Anytime, April. Come back if you're homesick and you feel like talking to a fellow alien. Fellow alien. Okay, we have some diary entry. Oh my god, I need to get closer to the screen. <clears throat> Brian Westhouse just told me something I should remember. He said that uh, he's heard stories about the winged people who observe and record history. If they've got records uh, going back thousands of years, maybe they know something about the whereabouts of the disc, the jewels, or even the entrance to the Guardian's realm. It's definitely worth checking out. So, winged people. I guess that's dragon. King. So, we need to find the dragons. Actually, I didn't ask that guy, not this one. This one about the fallen god. Come on, go quicker. Hello again, old man. Eh? Eh? It be you. Be you. Hmm. We can't ask him about uh, the fallen god. I'd love to hear some more maritime stories. Sure, sweetie, I'd be happy to. What story you be wanting to hear now? About the god. Uh. Oh, here we have it. Have you heard a story about a god who fell from the sky into the sea? Aye, that I be having. Although that be a story of man-eating mermen who ravaged the sea of songs, swallowing sailors whole and spitting their bones out to dry. Are you sure you be up for hearing such a cool tale? Sure. I've heard worse. Aye, ye be a tough little lady, be you not? All right. Well, like I be telling yous, the Sea of Song surrounding the island kingdom of Gien. Be a treacherous sea where countless vessels have disappeared without a trace. Now, this be near thirty long winters ago, mind, during me second term as captain of the trader, Rocky Lady. We've been crossing the Sea of Songs for two seasons. And we'd yet to be seeing any sign of the dreaded bloodthirsty mermen who lurk in the waters off the Guienne coast. That night we'd be laying still with our sails down, awaiting the wind to pick up and carry us north to Mercuria, when we'd be hearing a frightful scream coming from the port side of the Lady Luck. I'd be the first to rush over on account of me having me arm down the apple barrel. We just been to Eras to pick up one hundred barrels of sweet Guyan apples. And as luck would have it, I be there just in time to witness Sally Barney's horrible fate. He be in the water, screaming and waving his arms, and the water around him be red as a midwife's arms after a grueling bath. I get the picture. Oof. Go on. <laughs> Then I be seeing, I glimpse, a large, shiny, sleek body be pulling Sally down and swallow him whole. It be the merman come to claim the body of the sailor who dare across their sea. Or a shark. Are you sure it wasn't a shark? What? Big fish with sharp teeth and dead black eyes and a large triangular fin on top? 
Ye mean a black-eyed Snapjaw? I guess it could have been. But it be no Snapjaw. It be the dreaded merman of the Sea of Songs. Sure. Where does the Sea God fit into all of this? Aye, I be coming to that. You see, the bloodthirsty merman be not only happy with cannibalizing sailors, but they be sacrificing their own to their dark old sea god. Actually, unless the mermen are human, they wouldn't really be cannibals if they ate humans. Blood sacrifices to their dreaded god who lives on the bottom of the sea. Aye, that be the truth of the merman, fierce and bloodthirsty cannibals of the Sea of Songs. Uh, thanks. Good story. Aye. That's it? Uh... No, I don't want to hear the story of the merman. I'm all storied out for now. Thanks. Aye. You tell me when you want more, right? Sure. See you later. If I not be dead, I... Come on, let me look into the... Okay. So I have something in the diary. What is it with old sailors and long, pointless stories? I did manage to get some useful information out of the old man, however. He claims that the god that fell into the sea, the one obnoxious, uh, obnoxious uh, told me about, is worshipped by bloodthirsty cannibal mermen who live in the Sea of Sons around the island of Gin. I think that's how it's spelled. The fact that they are not necessarily cannibal just because they eat humans didn't really deter him from finishing his story. Having my doubts about how bloodthirsty these creatures really are as well. Seems like the monster he described in his story could be some kind of shark instead of a merman. Whatever the truth, uh, if anybody knows about this god who fell from the stars it wouldn't be the it would be the merman okay so we need to find the merman now okay uh okay where can we find this navigator girl Maybe she's somewhere here. No. Okay, let's go into the city. So we've been here, we've been here, we've been here. We still need to visit Tobias. We've been here, we've been here. Okay, let's go try to speak with... Uh, the maps guy maybe we can tell that we couldn't find the lady did you make your delivery to Tun Lyak at the journeyman inn yet no oh, I forgot all about that no I didn't by the balance get to it okay So how do we free the bird? Crap, now I have the sun stuck in my head. Um, but okay. Um, I wonder if that's supposed to be anybody in particular, or just any old head. So, um... We don't really have any new items, we just have the screwdriver. 
and I don't think can be used on the bird or something. Okay. Mm. I guess let's go visit Tobias. See, I don't see... Oh, yeah, I wanted to try. Maybe put a coin here? No? Into the fountain? No. That doesn't work. Um... Okay, let's go visit Tobias. Don't think there is anything else we can do. Good morning, Tobias. Why, it's April, my friend from Stark. Have you come to visit us again? So it appears. I didn't exactly come here by choice this time, though. Oh? How so, if I may ask? In a weird and twisted way, it's nothing out of what's become the substitute for ordinary in my life. One second I was in my room in Newport, the next I was in a dark alley in Mercuria. You must have opened a shift while you were sleeping. Good. This means you are learning to harness your magic. Yeah, I guess, except I don't think I'll be able to get back home again. And this time, my mentor, Cortez, has no idea that I'm here. Ah, but I'm sure you will find a way to channel and control your power soon. In the meantime, is there anything I can do to help? I need help getting back home. Unfortunately, I'm in no better state today to help you shift than I was the day before yesterday. You are the one with the talent. And so you must learn to use that talent. I see. I need to locate the disc that unlocks the Guardian's tower. The disc that is the key? Yes, it is needed. It might even restore balance, provided the new Guardian accompanies it to the tower, of course. But you wish to find the disc yourself? I have to. Cliché or not. It's our only hope. You uh, do this often, then? You know, save worlds? It's an expression. Heroism in my world is more of a cliché than anything else. I do not understand. But then I am merely a servant of the balance, while you are... more. But yes, the disc. As I told you once before, when the Earth was divided, and the realm of the Guardian created, a disk was forged in the Well of Making. The disk was to serve two purposes, as a key to the Tower of Balance should it become necessary to enter it in the Guardian's absence, and as a replacement for the disk that is already in the Tower should it be broken. The Tower is now abandoned and locked, and the old disk shattered. I do think the time is right for the second disc to be brought forward and used. Where is the disc now? At first, more than 12,000 years ago, it was kept in the open, at the Sentinel Enclave outside Mercuria. However, when thieves attempted to make away with a disc, it was taken away. Why? So that the four parts of the disc could be divided amongst four of the magical people of Arcadia. People who would have nothing to gain from the balance being compromised. What people were the disc divided amongst? This I cannot tell you. I am not sure anyone remembers now. But it would be in the scriptures, I am certain. What scriptures? The scriptures of the balance. There are thirteen of them. Thirteen is a strong number, rich in tradition, and... Did you know the Iread High Council consists of thirteen ministers? No, of course you don't. Thirteen was also the number of the fathers who begat the Sentinel, and who built the Tower of Balance. 
Where can I find the scriptures of the balance? Pay a visit to the Sentinel Enclave, located outside the city to the east. The great library of the Enclave contains every book ever written by an Arcadian Minstrum, and most others as well. Speak with Minstrum Yerin, the keeper of books. Tell him I sent you. Okay. I need to find the entrance to the Guardian's realm. There is one. You are right in that, but where I would not venture to guess. In the past, when the time came for the Guardian to step down and another to take his or her place, the Guardian opened a gateway wherever it was needed. A Guardian, still in full control of the balance, can invite anyone in and let anyone out. But with the Guardian gone, the only way in would be the point where the Divide was first created, where the tower was built. Isn't that location written down somewhere? Remember that this was done on the old Earth before the Divide. After the Divide, after the creation of Stark and Arcadia, places were shifted about. This entrance may not even be on the ground anymore. Hmm. What do you mean? It could be up there, in the sky, or far below us, through the crust of the Earth into the molten depths below. I cannot say, and I do not know anyone who could. Isn't there any way to locate the entrance to the Guardian's realm? Perhaps with careful investigation of the old texts, histories of Arcadia, of the Divide, the scriptures. I do not know, April, but it cannot hurt to look. So again, we need to... Again, you will find these texts at the Sentinel Enclave. Speak with Minstrom Yerin. Yeah, we need to go to, to this... Enclave. I need to locate the two dragons that reside in Arcadia. The dry kin? What's the difference? Dragons is a word from your world. The kin are not what they have become in your legends and fairy tales. But they're real, aren't they? Oh, as real as you and me, April. And old. They have been here since before our time. As you probably remember, the kin were instrumental in the Divide, saving mankind from a terrible end. But I know so little. Only what I can remember from my studies when I was a minstrel at the Enclave. Okay, we need to go there. Okay. How can I get more information on the Drakkin? Books, daughter, books. books. The wisdom of the ages. There is one tome you should study, called The Secrets of the Drakkin, by Minstrom Elniak. It is old but informative, and it captures the imagination. Where can I find this book? Again, you will find these texts at the Sentinel Enclave. Speak with Minstrom Yerin. Okay, so definitely need to go there. Thank you, Tobias. Good to know I could help you, April. Okay, so I need to go there. How, how do we go there again? Are you busy? Oh my god, he's so slow. I'm never too busy for you, April. What may I assist you with today? Where can I find the scriptures of the balance? Again, you will find these texts at the Sentinel Enclave. Speak with Minstrom Yerin. Where can I find it? Oh, I guess I need to uh, look into Thank the you. diary. Good day to you. We definitely have something new in the diary. <clears throat> Monday. I have no concept of what the Arcadian or Mercurian calendar is like, uh, but at home it would be July 31st. Uh, come to think of it, what year is it here? Anyway, uh, that's not really the reason I'm writing an entry in my diary. 
Tobias told me about a library where I can where I may be able to find some answers. The library is at the Sentinel Enclave just outside of town, and I am supposed to speak with a minstrel named Yurin. Uh <laughs> Yeah, looks like the um closed caption generators doesn't like uh this name. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> Minstrom named Yirin. <laughs> Yirin, not not Yurin. Well, close enough. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Okay, um, he's the keeper of books or something like that, uh, which probably uh, translates into the equivalent of librarian. Okay, um, let's go to this library, I guess. Because I don't think we can locate that uh, navigator lady. So, can we go out of the city? One map of the Northlands to be delivered to Tom Lyak at the Journeyman Inn. Yeah, she's not at the Journeyman, Journeyman Inn. Um, she's somewhere looking for a job. They couldn't find her. So, let's just continue, I guess. Oh. This is the enclave. Let's go there. What is that? It's a stone dragon gazing down into the center of the dome like it's guarding the entrance. It's a magnificent piece of work. Where do you see... Where do you see a dragon, April? Stone dragon shaped as part of the dome. I don't see any dragons into the enclave. Some kind of sandstone, very malleable, but also very vulnerable to the elements. These cliffs probably have huge, naturally formed caves and tunnels. Can I use a screwdriver on that? No. So why do I need to know about it? Some kind of sandstone, but grittier. Some kind of sandstone, but grittier. Okay, maybe maybe that's not actually something that we need to care about. Just stone wall. To the city. To the enclave. Where did she see the dragon? Is that like the dragon's legs? But I didn't see anything else. Okay, whatever. Ah. The dragon's mouth is pointing straight down at the middle of the floor. Okay. Emerald green, teeming with life and carrying the pleasant salty scent of distant shores. Downstairs. It's a small recess about the size of my fist, with a thin duct extending from the recess to the circular hollow in the middle of the floor. There are three others just like it, arranged with equal distance to each other in a circle, and all connected via a duct to the center of the floor. That's the disc. That, that, that's, that, that's the disc. small recess about the size of my fist with a thin duct extending from the recess to the circular hollow in the middle of the floor. And these are the places for four jewels. It's a small recess about the size of my it's a small recess about the size of my fist. It's a circular hollow about 20 centimeters across and about 5 centimeters deep. 
this is the disc that we were looking for, I am pretty sure. Don't think it's we can do anything about it, but can we play a tune? The dragon's mouth is pointing straight down at the middle of the floor. But this is the disc. This, this is the disc for sure. Priest. Okay, what do we have here? Why do we have such anonymous music? Actually, this music is great. It's a pool of seawater. You'd think that it'd be a bad idea to have a pool inside a library on account of the moisture. But I guess magic makes everything possible. We can touch it? Really? Where are you going? Oh. What? <laughs> okay. No. Uh, let's let's speak with the priest first. It's one of the sentinel minstrel. Goodness me, I didn't hear you come in. Uh, by the way, you haven't seen volume six of the complete annotated history of the Northlands, have you? I, I could have sworn it was here yesterday. Sorry, no. I guess someone else must have taken it. <clears throat> I try to tell them to write down what they borrow on the list, but they never listen. Only last week I spent three hours searching the entire enclave for the second scripture of the ballads, the scripture of song, before I realized that Vestrum Tobias was studying it back in the city. Now, such incidents could be avoided if only, and uh, this applies to you too, young lady, people would sign out the books they borrow when they borrow them and sign them back in when they're done. Okay. Such a simple procedure. It shouldn't take more than a few seconds to jot down your name and the name of the book you borrow. It makes my job so much easier. Uh, now, which book did you want me to find for you? Are you Minstrom Yaren? Yes, of course. Oh, what a silly question. How would I know? I don't know you. I am Minstrom Yerin, keeper of the great library of Mercuria. In fact, this is the greatest library of all the Northlands. Perhaps of the entire world. Although they say the Dark People have a library as big, if not bigger, than this one. But of course, we're not allowed anywhere near there. Have you been there? No. Nope. I don't think... What a silly question. Of course you haven't. You're not of the dark people, are you? You don't look like any dark people I've ever seen, so I can't see how you could possibly... Now, where did Volume 6 disappear to? Hmm? Tobias said I should talk with you. Tobias? Uh... Vestrum Tobias? I haven't seen him for... Well, he was in last week, but yeah. before that it must have been uh, days at least. Days How at least. is he? Is still eating enough for two mules? I must tell you of this funny story I heard the other day. Of how Vestrum Tobias eats enough for a table full of Minstrum. Uh, or was it one Elguan? Although the Elguan don't, as a rule, eat very much at all. Did huh? you know that the Elguan can smell water more than half a day's journey away? Amazing, amazing creatures, perfectly suited for life in the desert. The balance provides, uh, that's for certain. The balance provides. Elguan? Vestrum Tobias recommended that I look at some books. Uh, books is what we do best here at the Enclave, that is for certain. 
Which book would you like to see? Oof. Looking for some information, but I'm not sure what. Okay. So this silver spear of Garimon, I think that's about the dragons. History of Mercuria. Arcadian folk tales. I'm looking for some information, but I'm not sure which book to ask for. No matter. I know a great deal about most of the books in here. What topic intrigues you? I've heard rumors about mermen who live beneath the Sea of Songs, and I'd like to find out more about them. Mermen in the Sea of Songs? Hmm. Uh, let me see what I can find, yes? I did find something of interest. I'll leave it here for you to read. Okay. Oh no, this is even smaller font. Oh no. How am I supposed to read this? It's not clickable. How am I supposed to read this? Okay, one sec, I'm gonna move the monitor a little bit closer. That doesn't actually help. Uh, Merman, Elsom, whatever. Magical pick people who reside in the depth of the great ocean and other seas. Oh, this is really hard to read. I really wish that would be like vo vo voiced or there are more pages. Oh no. Oh no. How do I read this? Uh Little something has been made with the mermen who are believed to have been quite... Oh my god, I can't read this. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Quite something in the past, but... Something or something <laughs> dividing in something <laughs> confirmed location of Merman something is between the Uh, I can't read this. Commenting on the Sea of Sands. I don't know. Legends of Merman. Maybe if I actually move slightly away, maybe that would make my brain connect. In existing pixels, I don't know. Legends of Merman. Uh, I can't read this. Why would you do that? Why would you create a font like this? Uh, 
Ru rumors amongst sailors. The merman in the... I can't read this. This is impossible. The truth of the... people. What? <laughs> oh. Although not much is known about the merman, their religion apparently something around the belief of a ah uh, my eyes uh, belief of a something god who lives in the immense depths depth of the great ocean and who thought the merman no, who brought the merman to the earth from the face of distant and and okay I'm getting a little bit better at reading this font but still it's it's so bad merman also merman also mer mer people I don't know a magical people who reside in the depth of the great ocean and other seas. Little contact has been made with the mermen who are believed to have been quite I don't know, probably I don't even know what... don't even know this word, I don't know. In the past... But... are now... dwindling in... rumors... rumors... confirmed a uh, location of merman... Uh, of merman... what? Cities is between the uh, basically somewhere there. <laughs> uh, legends of Merman, Mer people, blah, 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 are. Amongst sailors, these stories portray the merman in a grotesque and violent light eating the no. Something the truth of a largely peaceful people. Okay. Violent light betraying the truth. Wait, that's that's the same. Although the although not much is known about the merman. 
the religion apparently enter no something around the belief of benevolent god who who lives in the immense depth of okay this this is all everything that we already know nothing new are you done let me take that back for you can't even see it in a magnifying glass yeah the magnifying glass wouldn't help at all because the the font is pixelated and uh i could to theoretically stretch the screen on my retro laptop that i'm using uh so it it will be bigger but it will be distorted so yeah there is not really much we can do about that uh so that book wasn't really helpful although we probably now know that the mermen are not really violent oh, oh goodness it's you again oh, you gave me such a fright what else would that be could i see some more books oh certainly what a silly question I'm looking for some information, but I'm not sure which book to ask for. No matter. I know a great deal about most of the books in here. What topic intrigues you? Are there any books about flying people who observe and tell stories? Winged storytellers, hmm? Uh, let me see what I can find. Hold on. I did find something of interest. I'll leave it here for you to read. Come on. No faster, please. The island of Elias, near oh. the Briston Atoll. Maybe I should try to go there. Okay, so looks like we did find something, although she didn't read the text. She just said that she found something. Okay. An early... I don't know. Winged people who are recently... Oh my god. Any rumors? And whose ability to fly long distances has been steadily diminishing over the past few centuries. The Alathine? Ala. 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 I don't know. Who are known for their ability to remember and tell stories from before the dawn of the mankind and up to the modern um, events. The largest known tribe of Alatine or whatever, with whom traders have occasional contact resides on the otherwise in 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 ha i know what they mean but i i don't know how to spell the word uninhabited or something like that island of alas in the something okay what does the diary say went to the library yes me imagine that uh to look for some information about these flying creatures that brian told me about um and with minstrum yearin yearins let's try to pronounce it like that help i found just what i was looking for 
They're actually called Alatian. Alatian. And there is a tribe of them living in an island south of here, Elias. Which is such good news considering how much I love water. And that was my sarcastic voice, by the way. Now, who do I know with a ship? Well, the ships are not working. So, good luck with that. Latin. But okay, uh, how do I exit? Are you done? Let me take that back for you. Oh my god. Why is he so slow? Also, you're not putting the book where it was. Goodness, it's you again. Oh, you gave me such a fright. Could I see some more books? Oh, certainly. What a silly question. I'm looking for some information, but I'm not sure which book to ask for. No matter. I know a great deal about most of the books in here. What topic intrigues you? I need to find out which four magical people of Arcadia were given a piece of the stone disc that serves as the key to the Guardian's realm. The stone disc of the balance, yes? Yes, yes. There, there could possibly be something on that in... Uh, um, uh, let me check. Just one moment. I did find something of interest. I'll leave it here for you to read. Yes, 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 yes. Go. Phew, chapter 16 in the... No, chapter... Chapter... No, chapter 16 in the 8th... Something... The... I can't read this. Regarding the disc of the balance and the events that came about when the disc was... I don't know. <sighs> the Sentinels. Sentinels. The Sentinels tell us that the disc was kept. So this is K. Disc was... Cam, ca care. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so the Sentinels tells that the disc was kept at the uh, enclave for many thousands of years, safely guarded from any threat by the. Spect. Uh, held by every man and woman for the authority of wow, I can't read this of the fathers or the authority of the fathers respect held uh what the sentinels tell tell as the this no, maybe not the sentinels. 
the script scriptures tells uh, as that the disc was kept at the enclave so yeah that's definitely the disc in the entrance at the enclave for many thousands of years safely guarded from any threat by the respect held by every man and woman for the authority of the fathers this makes no sense to me but i believe this is what's written um With this scent came disobedience and uh, disobedience brought Im immortality and immortality brought theft, tyrant, so immortality. Can theft th tyrant soldiers allied by uh, I don't know A sentinel traitors attempt to make away with the disc but were Thwarted by the something of the kin herself, white of the kin herself. Interesting, no, yes, interest, no. Interfering, although. Forbidden to do so on behalf of the fathers. Interfering although forbidden to do so on behalf of the fathers. The disc was brought safely back to the enclave. That the threat would linger in the minds of the mainstream and the western. So, uh, so it became that the disc was melted in the forge of the dragon's mouth, shaped into the elements of four magical people. So, elements of four magical people and given to the respective people for safekeeping until such a time when it was needed and the disc should once more be whole. Uh, one stone of the I have no idea. One, one stone of the gentle souls that sin in the dark and the shape of I don't know. between and the shape and shape the something between their toes what one stone of the watchers of the woods and the ones who are outside 
one stone to the two that make one of air and of sea. What? And one stone of the keepers of the dark flame and the the Cer certainly dark the matters I can't read this oh my god I really want to read this <laughs> but I can't uh, when the time comes for the disc to be the whole again one person will will make a journey to the to the four four I don't know to the something who would who hold the pieces and the pieces will be given willing, willingly because there will be no doubt to the righteousness of the person i don't know Are you done? let me take that back for you <sighs> let me google that real quick maybe we can find the actual text of the books and we can read them without breaking our eyes and our brain. Uh, the longest... The longest journey books... Book text... Maybe. Uh... The longest journey game because looks like there is the longest journey novel the longest journey manual let's see i don't think we have Ooh, this manual looks good No, oh, getting started, settings, playing the game. You should have read this manual, this look, looks good. The diary, video, replay, walk through. Through troubleshooting, no, contact. No, nothing really interesting here. Longest journey. Walk through. Spoiler free walk through now. Uh, the longest journey. Books. and readable no looks like there is no books available at least I cannot google that I really want, I'm really curious to read these books. It looks like there is no way. Okay, whatever. So, uh, one second, let me put the keyboard away. So, we need more books. We need to read more books. Oh, goodness, it's you again. Oh, you gave me such a fright. 
Can yes, I see some yes. more books? Oh, certainly. What a silly question. I'm looking for some information, but I'm not sure which book to ask for. No matter. I know a great deal about most of the books in here. What topic intrigues you? Learn more, like about to learn more about dragons, about the dragon kin. Oh, yes, yes. We have some wonderful books on that topic. Stay here. Hmm. Where are you going? I did find something of interest. Yes, I'll leave it yes. here for you to read. Uh, come on. I look like a serving maid. I don't care. I'll read the book. The Secrets of the Drag King by Minstrom. Someone. Forward. A drag king are known by many names throughout the main throughout the main worlds. In Alton they are often referred to as I don't know. In some Okay, we don't really care about that. Um, yeah, that's basically just the naming. I don't really care to try and read this really small font. And in Ireland... No. Again, this is still naming. Refer to them as Canis Dragon. Refers only to the winged shape and blah blah blah. blah. In Stark, the kin are mostly creatures of my mythology and fairy tales. However, in some Stark legends and something. Oh my god. This is even harder to read on the darker phone, uh, uh, darker background. I, I can't read this. Uh, this is such a bummer. I really want to read this, but I can't. Are you done? Then, no, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, whatever. I didn't mean to exit the book. But okay, whatever. We can forget about the book. So we did find something. Let me open the diary real quick. April's diary. Yeah, we, we learned about the flying creatures, but we cannot access that location yet, I guess. Let's see what else do we have. Oh! Oh, goodness, it's you again. Oh, you gave me such a fright. Could I see some more books? Oh, certainly. What a silly question. I'm looking for some information, but I'm not sure which book to ask for. No matter. I know a great deal about most of the books in here. What topic intrigues you? OK, 
Okay, that's it about the topics. But thanks anyway. But I we still know have. How it is. I forget things all the time. I even forgot my own name once. Couldn't remember it for a whole week, and then someone called for me, and I couldn't find him. Strangest thing. Okay. So what is this silver spear or of Gorimon? I'm looking for a story called The Silver Spear of Gorimon. Yes, a fanciful tale if I ever saw one, but a charming one. Did you know that I'm often paid visit by adventurers wishing to read everything available on the spear so that they too could set out on their foolish quests? Yeah, don't you just hate those adventurers? Well, they pay for my bread, milk and butter with their contributions to the coffers, so I shouldn't be too critical of them. Uh, but they care not about the books, they care only about what the books can give them. I care. About the books, really? I can tell. So, the Silver Spear of Gurimon, then? I did find something of interest. I'll leave it here for you to read. Oh my god. And the glory days of... Bakshara, before the drought? when Kariman was the greatest city in the known world. The Patek of Bakshira... Why can I read this all of a sudden? Uh, the Patek of Bakshira decided to forge the most powerful wep weapon in the world uh, to challenge the mighty white dragon. The Patek had grown greedy and... ...bored his treasure... Oh, no. Rose his treasure hold filled with the something of the world. And he de decided, desired nothing except the one thing he could never have. The unborn daughter of the white dragon. The fairest pay pay test, I don't know most beautiful creature in the universe. He had asked the white dragon for her daughters and in hand in marriage, but she had refused scolding him for his intolerance maybe and 
warning him to keep his distance from immortals and so the Patek sought the advice of a mighty sorcerer uh, the dark and <sighs> this is really really hard to read Sorcerer told the Patek of the White something of something. The strongest. I can't read this. I give up. I, I just give up. If we. Oh my god, this is really long. Are you done? Uh, let me take that back for you. Actually, wait, can we do something in the settings? Maybe we can somehow improve the font, I don't know. Don't believe so, but maybe game settings. Equality April model, subtitles, special effects, shadows. Enable time skip when checked allows escape button. No. Volume, no. Do we have that in the conversation log, maybe? Keeper of the library. No. Hmm. Yeah, we can't re read books again, I guess. Well, we can read the books, but uh, only as, as oh, books. Goodness, it's you again. Oh, you gave me such a fright. Could I see some more books? Oh, certainly. What a silly question. History of Mercuria. A book on the history of Mercuria would be interesting. Ah, an extensive subject, to be sure. I will do my best. I really want to read those books. There is not a lot of text. It's just extremely hard to read. I did find something of interest. I'll leave it here for you to read. Looking for the books on the wiki, maybe. One second. Enclave Library. Books. Yes, I found the text. So, for example, this is the history of Mercuria, right? Uh, no, this is actually something different. Tales in the Northlands. Tales in the Northlands. Yes, Tales in the Northlands by Jeremy the Discoverer. Okay, okay, we have the books. We have the books. Uh, so we can just skip that real quick. Because we're gonna... Oh my god, this is a long book. Because we can Are now read the books. Uh, let me take that back for you. So, uh, how do I do this? I need to share my PC screen. Let's see. 
One second. Let me let me make sure that we've uh, opened all the books here in the game. And then we can actually read the books. Oh. Uh, oh, goodness, it's you again. In proper text. You gave me such a fright. But yeah, I found I the text of the books. Oh, certainly. What a silly question. History of Mercuria. Folk tales. I'd like to read some Arcadian folk tales. A favorite topic of mine. I have just what you're looking for. Okay, in the meantime, while he is looking for a book, can I share my screen? I can. Well, somewhat. Let's see, maybe... I did find something of interest. I'll leave it no. here for you to read. Yeah, I can share my screen, but uh, my avatar is not going to be visible. I but look like a serving maid. Yes, yes, you are, April. Just read the book. So, okay. We've read... This done? book. Uh, let me take that back for you. Let me make sure. I, I think this is the last book that's available here. And if it is, then we can just... Uh, read the books uh, on the wiki. Because reading them in the game is just too painful. Oh, oh goodness, it's you again. Oh, you gave me such a fright. Could I see some more books? Oh, certainly. What a silly question. Okay, we've read that. Yes, this is it. So we've looked up all the books for the topics. So, while we're here, uh, let's start with the first book. Hopefully I don't close the game. Um, actually, it doesn't look really good on stream, but I guess that will do. So, uh, how do I place this? Can I? Okay, even this is painful. The Sentinel Enclave and wait, <laughs> that, that's not the books. So the secrets of the secrets of the Drake King. So this is about the dragons. The Drake King are known by many names throughout the Twin Worlds. Twin Worlds. Okay. In Old Town, they're often referred to as uh, Draken. In some variations of Low Town, Drechen or Draken. I don't know. In the Southlands, the word, the word drag, dragic refer, dragic re refers specifically to the winged lizard shape traditionally associated with the king. In Irhad, Irhad, the eternal spirits of the king are called simply drag, regardless of their current shape. In Stark, most cultures refer to the kin as dragon, drage, dra drake, uh, dragone. Uh, although this actually, this usually refers only to the winged lizard-like shape and not to the spirit inhabiting the shape. In fact, while in Arcadia, uh, the kin are respected and revered as eternal spirits. Even, even this is hard <laughs> for me to read. Eternal spirits with great uh, significance in the balance and the all. Uh, in Stark, the kin are mostly creatures of mythology and fairy tales. However, in some Stark legends, uh, the sculptures, notably the Christian Bible, the name scriptures, notably the Christian Bible, the name dragon is associated with the forces of evil and thus the religious connotations do seem to have carried over in somewhat distorted form. 
actually that makes sense uh, because maybe that would be like affected by uh, the vanguard so to the well maybe not maybe i'm just imagining stuff who or what are the drag king uh, why not ask who is the creator or what is the all uh, questions this asked will remain uh, in per perpetuity unanswered or they are in truth unanswerable yeah, I would never <laughs> be able to read that in that small font. It's even extremely hard for me to read uh, in, in, in like normal text. To condense all knowledge uh, of the creator into one answer is futile, as is any attempt to define the all without describing every single element that makes up the all. So also with the drag king we cannot as answer who is the king or what is the king but we can provide some answers to the simpler questions uh, the questions that deal with uh, what we see and hear and feel and what we have been told by the king themselves answers that all together may give us if only the faintest hint of the whole truth uh, then the last th then at least some indication of who or what the king, drag king are. So basically no answers here. Uh, born of the emptiness between the stars. Uh, reads the 11th scripture of the balance. The scripture of time. Shaped in unison with the all. Part of the all yet outside the all. Drag king, Not the ancient high tone variation of drag king. Um, why so many variations of and interpretations of the drag king for from culture to culture? The king have always been shrouded in mystery, and from mystery rises legend and myth. The king seem content to be seen as nothing but tall tales and figments of a bir bird's fertile imagination. Okay, this makes no sense. Travels in the Northlands. This text, excluding the last paragraph, was used as an intro to Arcadia in the original The Longest Journey website. Oof, this is a big one. Silver Spear of Grimon. Uh, Arcadian folk tales. Uh, Merman. My room also Merman, Mer people, Marians. A magical people who reside in the depth of the great ocean and other seas. Little col contact have, has been made uh, with the Myram, who are believed to have been quite numerous in the past but are now dwindling in numbers okay confirmed location of Myram cities is between the uh, Briston Atoll and Gein uh, centering in the Sea of Suns legends of the Merman uh, Mer people Marians uh, Rampant amongst sailors, this story is portrayed the Maram in a grotesque and violent light, betraying, betraying the truth of a largely peaceful people. Although not much is known about Maram, their uh, religion apparently centers around the belief of a uh, benevolent god who lives in the immersed depth of the great ocean and who both who brought the Myram to Earth from a place distant and wonderful. Okay. Book on the uh, Alatian. So this is what actually triggered our diary entry. Alatian. A crafty winged... Crafty winged people who recently 
dwindled in numbers and whose ability to fly long distances have been steadily diminishing over the past few centuries. Uh, the Elatian are known for their ability to remember and tell stories from before the dawn of the mankind and up to modern events. The largest known tribe of Elatian, uh, with whom traders occasion have occasional content, contact, resides on the otherwise uh, uninhabited island of Elias in the Briston Atoll. So we need to go to this Briston Atoll, looks like. We don't know about this place late yet, so I'm not going to click there. Uh, so, okay. This is what triggered. So, to travel to that place, we need uh, to fix the wind. But okay, complete the history of Northlands. Are we going to read through these books? <laughs> because, I don't know. Uh... Silver Spear of Gorimon. A legendary weapon first uh, referenced in the in an enclave. You know what? Wait, this is Oh th this is just a text. This is the actual book. Uh I wanted to see I think this one, the scripture of the balance about the disc chapter 16 the scriptures tells us that the disc was kept at the enclave for many thousands of years safely guarded from any threat by the respect held by every man and woman for the authority of fathers but with this descent came disobedience and disobedience brought in Im immorality, not immortality, that they've read. And immorality uh, begets theft. Yeah, it, it, it's really hard for me to read and understand this kind of language, but okay. Tyrant soldiers, aided by sentinel traitors, attempted to make way with the disc, but were th thwar thwarted by the weight of the king herself. Um, intervening, although forbidden to do so on behalf of the fathers. The disc was brought b safely back to the enclave, but the threat would linger in the minds of the Minstrum and the Vestrum. So it became that the disc was melted in the forge of the dragon's mouth, shaped into the elements of four magical people, and given to this respective people for safekeeping until such time when it was uh, decreed that the disc would once uh, more be whole. Uh, one stone of the gentle souls that sin in the dark and shape the earth between their toes. One stone to the gentle souls that sin in the dark and shape the earth between their toes. Oh my god, riddles. One stone to the watchers of the woods, the ones who are outside. One stone to the two that make one of air and of sea. And one stone to the keepers of the dark flame, the eternally dark, the marin mariners. When the time comes to the when, when the time comes for the disc to be whole again, uh, one person will make a journey to the four who hold the pieces, and the pieces will be given w willingly because there will be no doubt to the righteousness of this person. Well, we didn't lose anything. We, we wouldn't have lost anything by not reading this book, I guess. It's just, I, I was curious. So maybe the disc in the entrance of the enclave is not the actual disc. Maybe it's just like a representation of the disc. Or maybe this is like somewhere where we place the pieces, probably. 
and it forms the actual disc or something. Arcadian Folk Tales. Silver Spear. How long is this? Silver Spear. That, that seemed important, I guess. In the glory days of uh, Baksheva, before the drought, when Garim Garimon, or Garimon was the greatest city in the known world, the Parek of Baksheva, <laughs> it's harder for me to read the actual uh, words um, passing to the small text in the, in the actual book in the game. Uh, decided to forge the most powerful weapon in the world to challenge the mighty white dragon. Uh, the Parek uh, had grown greedy and bored. His uh, treasure hold filled with the riches of the world and he desired nothing except uh, the one thing he could never have. The unborn daughter of the white dragon. Uh, the fairest, purest, most beautiful creature in the universe. He had asked uh, the white dragon for her daughter's hand in marriage, but she had refused, scolding him for his insolence and uh, warning him to keep his distance from immortals. And so the Parek sought uh, the advice of a mighty sorcerer, the dark and cruel Eos, to learn how to kill one of the track kin. The sorcerer told the Parek of the white silver of Mount T Tyranny, the strongest substance in Arcadia, and how it could be forged into magic, forged by magic to kill even one of the kin. The Parek ordered his army to go, nor to go north across the ocean and to bring back enough white silver to shape a weapon. When his men returned with the rare metal, uh, the Parek ordered the finest blacksmith in the Baksheva uh, to his castle where Eos, uh, the sorcerer, cast a spell to create an unholy forge. Ten days and ten nights it took before the uh, exhausted blacksmith uh, could present a tall spear to his emperor. But before the spear could be used to kill one of the kin, it had to be bathed in blood. Beheading the poor blacksmith and the soldiers who had retrieved the white silver from the Mount, Ty Mount Tyranny, uh, the Parek private private bath was filled with their blood, and he dropped the silver spear into the red bath, uh, watched over by Aeos. Terrible scream erupted, and scream rose up in a red, foul-smelling cold cloud. Oh my god. When the stream, when the steam lifted, the blood was all gone, and the spear was glowing in a deep red color. With a terrible weapon now ready to be welded, wielded, uh, the Parek issued a challenge to the White Dragon to either surrender her daughter to him or m for marriage, or to suffer a painful death at his hand. Uh, enraged, the White Dragon refused him yet again and flew to meet the Parek, his sorcerer and his thousand strong ar army uh, to the green fields outside Gariman. Of the magical silver spear she knew nothing and the Parek uh, kept it wrapped in cloth by his side. Bring your forces around Parek, ar warned the white dragon. If you do not, I will lay waste to them all. <clears throat> I wish my men no harm, uh, lied the Parek, for this, for this is between the two of us. He then rode forward alone and dismounted his horse, but stayed within the reach of the spear. 
The white dragon landed uh, before him and she said, You're brave uh, to face me like this when you know you cannot harm me. Uh, hello, SKN. Uh, yeah, there is no avatar. Hello, SKN. We are reading the books that we could not read in the game itself because of extremely small font. So, yeah, we managed to find the book, the books on, on, on Wiki, and yeah, this is what we are doing right now. Uh, so, yeah, th this tale is interesting. Uh, so, you're brave to face me like this when you know you cannot harm me. When the parak raised a hand uh, as it to greet her, but it was instead to sign to his uh, sorcerer. Oh my god, I can't read anymore. The terrible Aeos, who cast a mighty spell to hold the white dragon while the Parek drew his silver spear. The white dragon fought bravely, and she was close to escaping the sorcerer's magic, but Parek was quick and he thrust the magic spear into her chest. She screamed in pain and anger, and the sorcerer's spell uh, could no longer hold her. Rising on her beautiful wings, uh, blood pouring down on the land below, she cursed ba ba Bakshiva, uh, her Parak and her people for all time. Wherever the white dragon's blood fell, the land turned arid, and grass became sand. The Parek sent his army to follow the white dragon and to bring back her egg. Oh my god, that's the, that's the egg that we've seen in the beginning of the of the game, I guess. But the drought grew, and and within days, the once proud empire of Bak Bakshiva uh, was turned into a desert. Then followed a fierce storm that tore across the land uh, for 100 days and nights. And when the dust settled, there was nothing left of Bakshiva, but two coastal cities and a few scattered o oases. It is said that in the buried ruins of the lost capital, wrapped in the arm of the Parak, who who dared test the immortal, rest the silver spear of Karaiman. Uh, I don't want to read the interpretations. But okay, looks like... Yeah, so basically the, the dragon that we've seen in the beginning of the game, that's the white dragon, the mother. And yeah, we did save her egg. So it looks like that's the, what the legend says, the purest, the most beautiful person in the world, or something like that, creature in the world. Okay, what else do we have? Secrets of Drag King. Yeah, this makes no sense, we've read that. Travels in the Northlands. Uh, on one hand, I'm interested in this. On the other hand, I'm tired of reading all of the text. Um, in many, in my many years as a traveling poet and bard, I have wait. This text, excluding the last paragraph, was used as an entry. But is it the book? Is it the text from the book? Uh, in many years as a traveling poet and bard, I have uh, enjourneyed far and wide across the fire realm of Arcadia, and I have seen sights most people have not dreamed. I have stood in a magnificent... magnificent <laughs> if I try to like speed up a little bit, <laughs> I can't, can't read it. I have stood in the magnific magnificent and terrible southern capes in the midst of winter when the storms are at their fiercest uh, wait i don't want to read all of that can we find something interesting here I 
I don't want to read this. We read the spear, we read the scripture. Arcadian folk tales. Do we have, we have something interesting here? I don't know. Children of Lake. That's our merman. There was a village by lake where no couple had borne a child for 20 years. The villagers were desperate, for without children they, their village would wither and die. And they turned to their god for help. Uh, the next morning, 50 young children rose out of the misty lake and wandered into the shores, uh, much to the joy of the childless women. We're, your we're yours, said one of the children, as long as you remember one thing. You are never to fish from this lake again. Instead, you must learn to hunt in the forest and live off the land. The villagers agreed. Oh my god, I forgot to, to switch the screens. Sorry. The villagers agreed, uh, though they worried they might go uh, hungry since they were used to catching and eating fish from the lake. But it didn't take long before they had uh, taught themselves. Taught themselves to hunt and grow wheat and potatoes in the fields. Eighteen years passed, and, the, and then one day an old man grew tired of rabbits and deer and potatoes and bread, and he longed to catch a big fish and cook it over a sizzling fire. He took his boat out to where the villagers would not see him, and he sank his line. Almost immediately he caught a large trout, uh, but he but he was rowing back to shore. But as he was rowing back to, sh to shore, he saw the children of the lake wander from their homes back into the dark waters from whence they came. Their mothers called for them, tried to hold on to them, begged them not to leave, but they would not speak. And one by one they disappeared into the lake. The old fisherman then saw as the children sank into the murky waters. Now they turned into large fish and spread off into deep. Uh, he was shameful then and dropped his catch back into the water. But it was too late and the village would never more uh, remain childless. Okay, whatever. Do I have something interested here? Okay. What about the previous folk tale? Sandra the Faithful Wife. Don't think we need anything here. Okay, I think this is it. So let's get back into the game. Oh. <clears throat> so this actually wasn't really useful because the only thing that we could find. Actually, I don't feel like reading right now. Don't feel like. Very well, though it is the strangest thing I've heard in a while. How can you not feel like reading? I'll see you later. Uh, yes, yes, good, good. So, the only useful thing that, thing that we've uh, managed to find here is uh, about this Elias. But yeah, um, yeah, this is about the flying creatures uh, that um, remember stuff from back from the days. But we cannot reach that because we need the the wind to be fixed in in the city. Okay, what's here? Ah, I see. It's a pool of seawater.
What are you doing in April? Ah, okay, I guess you're doing me going here. <clears throat> Can't speak anymore. The water's pretty cold. That's it? Some kind of wheel here. It's a rusty wheel. Uh, it's stuck. Okay. Weird. It's stuck, you say. Can you use a screwdriver? No. What does she say about the water again? If it's cold? The water's pretty cold. Okay. Sure. So I guess we did what we could here in this library. We know that we need to find four pieces uh, of the uh, of the disc. And those pieces are basically forged into some figures or whatever that resemble the four kind of magical people. And those magical, the description of those magical people, are extremely obscure. You you cannot like guess what they is. The, those are basically riddles. The dragon's mouth is pointing straight down at the middle of the floor. It's a circular hollow about 20 centimeters across and about 5 centimeters deep. So I guess we need to find those four pieces and place them here. Now this a small hollow. recess about the size of my fist with a thin duct extending from the recess to the circular hollow in the middle of the floor. So yeah, I guess this is like a forge to create the actual disk when it's needed. Um, but okay. What about the water again? Emerald C, okay. So I guess we go back to the city. Wait, uh, can we check the inn again? Maybe the woman is back. I mean, the, the one who we need to give the map to. Excuse me? Yes. Oh, it is you. Do you know when Tunlayak is expected back? I could not tell you, child, but from what I know of the ships in harbor, she will not find one that needs a navigator any time soon. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, child. Does it mean that we can find her somewhere? I did check the pier, I did check the city gates. I don't know. Let's go back and talk to Tobias. Because, yeah, we need to travel to that... Um, to that place, but we cannot do that because there is no wind. Huh? actually standing in a different pose now. Are you busy? Huh? I guess that was just a I'm way. never too busy for you, April. What may I assist you with today? I did find the scriptures of the balance. Where can I find the scriptures of the balance? 
Again, you will find these texts at the Sentinel Enclave. Speak with Minstrom Yerin. Thank you. Good day to you. Wait a second. Are you busy? I've never... The scriptures are the balance. We did find that one. So what does it say? Okay, I close the page. Oh my god. Scriptures are the balance. Um, yeah, that was the book that describes the pieces, um, and the four pieces. Didn't help. Uh, I don't know. Thank you. Good day to you. So, what do we need to do now? Guess we need to reach that place. Went to the library, yes me, imagine that, to look for some information about those flying creatures that Brian told me about. And with Mr. Uh, Yeren, uh help, I found just what I was looking for. They're actually called... Uh, Alatian, there is a tribe of them living uh, on an island south of here, uh, Elias, which is such good news considering how much I love water. That was a sarcastic, sarcastic voice. So, we don't know with a ship. Okay, so let's go to... Let's go to the captain, I guess. Come on. So, Captain. Hello. Uh huh. Uh huh. Do you know the island of Elias? The vacation paradise of the ancient Del Mari? Certainly. How do I get there? It's near the Briston Atoll. But boats rarely travel directly to Briston from Marcuria. You'd have to travel via Guyenne. Can you give me a lift to Guyenne on your ship? There are three problems with that scenario. Number one, there's no wind. Yeah. So we can't set sail south. Number two, I lost my navigator a few weeks past. And I have yet to find his replacement. We and know number three the person for that? You're a woman. <laughs> we don't let women on board the White Dragon. Oh, really? Isn't that a bit sexist? Sexy is just what I worry about. What with a boat full of men being out at sea for months at a time? Not sexy, sexist. I'm a sailor, girl. What do you expect? Good bedside manners. <laughs> but also the navigator is a girl as well. I'd really appreciate it if I could hitch a ride with you to Guyenne. Ain't gonna happen. Sorry. I'd really appreciate it if I could hitch a ride with you to Guyenne. Ain't gonna happen. Sorry. Hmm. 
Did you ever hear of the Merman of the Sea of Songs? You mean the bloodthirsty cannibal Merman of the Sea of Songs? Why cannibal? That's it. Never heard of him. <laughs> never heard of him. Are you sure you've never heard of the Merman of the Sea of Songs? Be quiet. Shh. Not so loud. What's up with the shushing? Legend says that if you speak openly of the bloodthirsty cannibal Merman of the Sea of Songs, they will hunt you down until they've caught you and devoured you. And you believe this legend? No, I'm just trying to scare you off. I'd really appreciate it if I could hitch a ride with you to Guyenne. Ain't gonna happen. <sighs> Sorry. Bye. Do you fancy a map? Another one? No? Money? No? <sighs> Assorted cargo. It's the White Dragon. I'm just looking for something. Maybe I missed. I don't know. But I don't think so. Can't go there. Here is this guy. Yeah, we need to figure out the bird. How can we get the bird? It's a lighthouse. It's a lighthouse. I wouldn't feel too comfortable about sailing anywhere in that. It's like a toy boat for children. Hmm. Small pier. Oh, th this is the small pier. Okay. So, first of all, where is the navigator girl? It's a lighthouse. Blue fire. She's supposed to be somewhere here. He's selling a variety of fresh shellfish and other, uh, delicacies. She's selling a variety of fresh fish. No, I don't think, guys must don't think there is anything here for us. Oh, so nothing here, nothing there. We did visit the enclave. Let's visit this guy once again. I look like a serving maid. Yes, you are. If you want to enter honored guest and i would have been with you presently can you tell anything more can i ask you a few questions yes thanks obnaxus 
Okay. You guess. are always welcome, April Ryan. Guess we don't have any more questions for him. What about my about quest? About my quest. Anything I can do to help, April Ryan. That's about it for now. Nothing new. I am glad I could be of assistance, April Ryan. Yes, thank you. I'll talk to you later, Abnaxus. Blessings of the balance on your journey, April Ryan. Oh, I don't know. Where is the girl? Wait. I wonder if she's caught anything today. No, not this one apparently. I don't know. How am I supposed to find the navigator? Bias is not very helpful. Also, we need to figure out how to get the bird. It's a talking bird. How do we get the bird? Okay, let's try to play once again. I'll try one more. Keep your eyes on the cup. Now, you guess which cup hides your coin. If you get it right, you win another coin, three in a row, and you win a prize. It's gotta be this one. You got the wrong cup again! Sorry. I don't Try think one more, we can perhaps win this here. coin will bring you luck. I'll try one more. Keep your eyes on the cup. Now, you guess which cup hides your coin. If you get it right, you win another coin. Three in a row, and you win a prize. It's gotta be this one. You got the wrong cup again! Sorry. Try one more and perhaps this coin will bring you luck. I don't think it's possible to win this game. I'll try one more. Keep your eyes on the cup. Now, you guess which cup hides your coin. If you get it right, you win another coin. Three in a row, and you win a prize. It's this one, for sure. You got the wrong cup again! Sorry. No, that's Try one play. more, and perhaps this coin will bring you luck. Well, I did try that, but yeah, you need to... Oh, you mean three times in a row, yeah. But I don't think it's even possible to win even one time. Yeah, I don't know. So what do we have? I don't think we can do anything. Definitely missing something. So Tobias still tells us to go to the enclave. So maybe we do miss something there. I have no idea how to get the bird. 
we need to find why is it so loud uh, we need to find uh, the navigator girl we need to give her the map so we can then finish our map quest and I guess we need her to like go with us um, on the on the ship but also to to make the ship move we need to sort out the problem with the wind and we don't know yet how to do that I think we are missing something here in the library can I go this way? No. We have a wheel here, but I don't think we know how to open it. <sighs> I hate this, but we would probably need to look for some more books. Hmm. Oh! oh, goodness, it's you again. Oh, you gave me such a fright. Could I see some more books? Oh, certainly. What a silly question. Arcadian folktales, we've read that. History of Mercuria, we've read that. Silver Spear of Grimon, we've read that. I'm looking for some information, but I'm not sure which book to ask for. No matter. I know a great deal about most of the books in here. What topic intrigues you? Merman, no. Latin, no. We, we... We read that. Scripture again about the disc. That was split in four, and now we've read that. Track Kin. Read more I'd about. I'd like to read more about the Drag Kin. More about Drag Kin. Why, of course. I will get the book you are looking for immediately. And that was on the, on the week that I was um, reading the books on. It mentioned that this librarian could not find one of the books. We, we didn't get that yet, so probably we're still missing some books. I'm not sure how to... I did find something of interest. I'll leave it here for you to read. How to get that? No, I think we've read this. Do we need to click somewhere on like specific keyword? We've read this book. Yeah, this is just the normal drag game book. No, nothing. Are you done? Uh, let me take that back for you. I think we've read everything. Can't do anything while he's busy with the books. That's just April. This pool is weird. 
This wheel is weird. I don't know. So we need to go there. But to go there we need to sort out the ship problem. The ship problem. Wait, can we go here? No, no. It's Some kind of sand. Some kind of sandstone, but grittier. I don't know. I don't remember what he wants Hello. from us. Uh -huh. I'd really appreciate it if I could hitch a ride with you to Guyenne. Ain't gonna happen. Sorry. I'd really appreciate it if I could hitch a ride with you to Guyenne. Ain't gonna happen. Sorry. Bye. Hmm. Doesn't want any money. Do you want to watch? No. So what did he say? Uh, conversation log. Captain. Yeah, this conversation. Trail to Guyenne. Three problems with this scenario. Number one, there is no wind, so we can't set sail south. Number two, I lost my navigator a few weeks past and I have yet to find his replacement. And three, you're a woman. So, we need to fix the wind somehow. We need to find the navigator. We have also a map for her to deliver. <laughs> we can't fix the problem being a woman. <sighs> I don't know. I have no idea. Also, this the old salesman holds some kind of treasure, but we need to free the bird first. I have no idea how to do that. Did you make your delivery to Tun Lyak at the Journeyman Inn yet? Uh, I forgot all about that. I did not forget about that. Get to it. I can't find her. Ha! 
How about a game of cups today? Thanks, but no thanks. Suit yourself, but that attitude will never bring coin to your pocket. I don't know. Can't talk to anyone here. Just I'll the visit animal. the Mercuria Petting Zoo when I'm done saving the world. <laughs> we can't deliver the map because. Because the person is not here. There is nothing we can do about that. I can't give the map to the innkeeper. Where is April? Oh, actually there. Okay. Excuse me. Yes. Oh, it is you. Do you know when Tunlayak is expected back? I could not tell you, child, but from what I know of the ships in harbor, she will not find one that needs a navigator any time soon. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, child. I don't know. I don't know. So, who else can we speak to? Not the captain. Nothing here. No new books here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Let's try to speak with Brian once again. Hello? I have some more questions for you. Shoot. What did you say about the flying people? They're supposed to be great storytellers, and they've been... Yeah, I don't I don't have any more questions for you. Very well. I don't know, I'm stuck. Thanks, Mr. Westhouse. Always a pleasure, April. Okay, let's let's use a hint because I'm stuck. Do you guys know what what can I do? What I'm what am I missing? Because I don't see any options whatsoever. Probably I'm missing something in the enclave, but I can't really understand what. And it's really annoying to go through the books. And there is nothing else. Actually, let, let me look at the map once again. It's just the music is annoying here. But okay, we can't do anything in the inn because uh, the person is missing. The person is looking for a job. She's supposed to be looking for a job here somewhere on the pier, but we could not find her. Nothing on the pier. Nothing in the city gates. Uh, this time traveling guy doesn't uh, tell us anything. Nothing you hear. Nothing you hear. Maybe we can somehow free the bird, but I cannot figure out how. Let's go to the enclave once again.
Can we give him something? Like this map, for example? No. A ring? No. Don't think I can click here something. Can just go outside. Can I can go down, but there is nothing really here except the wheel, which I cannot turn. I don't know. It's you again. Oh, you gave me such a fright. Could I see some more? Oh, certainly. I'm looking for... No, ma'am. So, Merman... Latin again. Scripture about the disc, track king. So Latin are the f the flying people. Merman. Scripture. So these two points is what we asked about. Um, to the Tobias, and he sends us to this guy again. So I'd I like don't. To see that book about of course. So I don't think we can do anything here. I don't know. I did find <sighs> the island of Elias near the Briston Atoll. So yeah, we did find how to get there, but we can't get there. Are you done? Uh, let me take that back for you. Actually, wait. Can we ask him for a book, but then just go away or something? I didn't try that. Because he does say that uh, you need to like, keep track of the books or whatever. Log oh. which books you take. Oh, goodness, it's you again. Oh, you gave me such a fright. So maybe we can trigger something can I by see some more books? doing that. Oh, so I'd like to. Did I so I cannot do anything during this cutscene. While he just walk into the books. I so there is a book there. I should at least check out the book he got for me before I disturb him again. Mm hmm. Can I go outside? I don't think there is anything of interest. I should at least check out the book. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the bird is what we need to solve. Do you want me to jump? Oh, okay. I mean, I can try, but that's... 
not very interesting because I can see the star real time. So there is nothing here, I believe. How can we get the bird? So, the the maps merchant did say uh, that we cannot actually win this game without magic, right? Maps, yeah. This guy doesn't tell us anything, anything until we deliver the map. We cannot deliver the, the map. Because we don't know where the person is. She's looking for a job. I have this hand, but I don't think it's important. I don't think we can win this game. I'll try one more. Keep your eyes on the cup. Now, you guess which cup hides your coin. If you get it right, you win another coin. Three in a row, and you win a prize. Mm, do I have anything here? Just the cups. It's weird that it's broken in the middle. What are these paintings? Weird. Can we use something here? Take a candy. Absolutely no idea. So I'll just take a wild guess and choose this one. You got the wrong cup again. Sorry. Try one more and perhaps this coin will bring you luck. Let's go have infinite coins. I'll try one more. Keep your eyes on the cup. Now, you guess which cup hides your coin. If you get it right, you win another coin. It's gotta be this one. You got the wrong... I'll try... Keep your eyes... Yeah, I cannot do anything while he uh, mixes up the, the the cups. It's gotta be this one. You got the wrong cup. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I can win this. I 
I think we need to accuse him of cheating somehow. Maybe. The maps man said that we cannot win this game without magic and if we use magic his amulet will light up. So maybe we need to win the amulet somehow. Uh -huh. But we cannot win the game. It's a cups game. I'm gonna use a hint because I'm totally stuck. So let's see. Uh, So we are at chapter 4, right? What should I do to start at the start of the chapter? What should I do the next day? How do I find Tin Like? She's out looking for a job. She won't be back until later. Don't worry about her. You'll know when the time is right to look for her. Okay. Um... How can I win the bird back for the old man? First, it's probably a very good idea to wait until the old man asks you to win his bird back for him before you try solving the puzzle. You can start the puzzle whenever you like, but you won't be able to finish it until you've gotten to that point in the story. Aha! So we cannot win the birds yet. Bah. We've got to have some money to play the game. Win the game by, by using something that can show you where the money is. Uh. In fact, you need to wait until the end of chapter 5. You'll have to walk around, talk to people and read books a lot. The first real puzzles don't start until you've talked to the old sailor about cashing in a favor. Until you have kept talking to the people and check back at the library as you find out more information. Skipping even one step may keep you from getting here. What? I don't understand. Okay, let's let's visit the old sailor. But I I did talk to him. I did ask about um I did ask about the merman. Oh my god, why are you so slow, April? Hello again, old man. Eh? Eh? It be you. Wait, th yeah, there is... Do you know how I can oh get God. passage on a boat going south? 
Aye, coin be the way, as me beloved wife always be saying. Course she'd be running off with a wealthy merchant while I be away at sea. Women, never trusted one I didn't pay for again. I don't have much coin at all. And I be at a loss, as do ye, unless... I need coin to travel in a boat, unless... what? Unless I be calling in a favor with the good Captain Horatio Nebeve, who be traveling to Gayen as soon as the wind be picking up. Yeah, I tried that. What kind of favor? Oh, he be owing me from back when I was oh. his captain. Oh, so he's, he owes you. Would you cash in your favor with Nebeve if I got your bird, bird back? Aye, I be promising anything to get me friend back. It be a deal. Okay, okay. Do you know the island of Elias? Aye, I be knowing lots and lots about the feared Isle of Elias. It's feared? How? Because, because it be a place of cannibals. You really don't know anything about the island of Elias, do you? Uh, no, I do not. Okay. See you later. So yeah, he if did I ask us. Dead, I... Did ask us to uh, win the bird. So now we can try to win the bird. Okay. So yeah, I, I didn't talk to the old man one more time apparently. Don't worry, you you will get the star someday. So, uh, where do we go? We go back to the marketplace. Let's go try to win the bird somehow. A game of cups today. Okay, let's go. Just place your bet, <clears throat> investment, on the table, and the game will begin. I'll try one more. Keep your eyes on the cup. You guess which cup hides your coin. If you get it right, you win another coin. Three in a row, and you win a prize. Can I use this? No. No. So, how can we detect the money? The screwdriver is magnetic. <gasps> the screwdriver is magnetic. Hey, that cup moved. Ah! It's this one for sure. Uh, that's that's correct, but, <laughs> but that's you used magic, didn't you? You used your magic wand. Nah, your amulet didn't light up, did it? No, but... but... it's impossible! Because you use magic yourself? Because nobody's supposed to ever win your game? They have a name for people like you, sir. Con artist. What? I'm outraged! I'm... I'm... outraged! Whatever. I want my prize. Prize? You don't get a prize for winning once. Especially when you're cheating, you cheat. You want me to call the city guard? I demand a prize. Oh, by the gods of gambling. Here, 
Take this and leave me be. Bird? A calculator? Where did you get this? Oh, I don't know. Wanted off some guy who got it from someone else who's supposedly been in stock. It's a worth... I mean, it's a valuable souvenir from the mysterious and elusive world of logic. Now, would you please let me be? Let someone else play. Yes? No. I need the bird. Calculator. Strangely enough, it's an old-fashioned calculator. Like the ones they used back in, like, the Elizabethan times. <laughs> Elizabethan times. But okay, let's play again. We need to win. I want to play again. By uh, three times. No, 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 not you, lady. Get your errand off my table. I have a right to play. I didn't use magic. You did use that magic wand there. That's magic to me. No, it's science, not magic. There's no sign that says no science allowed now, is there? What do you want from me? The bird. I want to play. Sorry, lady, that magic wand of yours will put me out of business. I'd rather close up for the day than let you play another game. I want to play again. With that magic wand of yours, you'll put me out of business. Sorry. Huh. Huh. I want to play again. With that magic wand of yours, you'll put me out of business. Sorry. I'm not talking to you, you cheat. Crap. So I only have the calculator. How do we... Here's the calculator. Oh my god. I need the bird. It's not the calculator. Bird. Calculator, huh? Who may need a calculator? And still, I need the bird, so I need to win the game, I guess. Oh my god. I want to play again. With that magic wand of yours, you'll put me out of business. Sorry. Oh my god, I don't know. Who may need the calculator? Can we give this calculator to uh, Brian? No. I don't know. But wait, we did have a new entry in the diary, right? Yeah. Dealt sailor down by the docks agreed to help me to get right cells. South on the White Dragon. If I help him get his bird bird back, how difficult can that be? I keep wondering how much he really cares about that bird. However, if he was willing to risk gamble it away in a game of cups. But hey, that's none of my business.
Did you make your delivery to Tunlayak? Buy them. Okay. Doesn't want to play with a calculator. I don't know. I think I'm stuck again. I want to play again. With that magic wand of yours, you put me out of business. Sorry. You want it? Oh. I'll make a trade with you. My screwed screw my magic wand for one of your prizes, and then I'll leave your game alone. What's the catch? No catch. You get a screw magic wand, and I get one of your exotic prizes. Hmm. All right. Fair enough. Which prize would you like? The talking bird. <laughs> that scraggly heap of... Oh, fantastic, fantastic choice, choice, young lady. Hold on a second and I'll get him for you. A fantastic choice. And I really, really mean that. See you tomorrow, Dull Dark. Thank you for stepping by. Look at the bird! What are you doing with that bird? Okay. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> Where did she put the bird? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, you're a bird, huh? Yeah, yeah. Wait a second. Did the old man send you to get me? I guess he did. My name's April. Oh, God, is there no escape? I mean, not that I like being cooped up in a cage for gamblers to gawk at and children to spit at all day, but give me a break. It's better than being locked away in a stinking chest. Thanks a whole bunch for rescuing me, April. You're welcome. Hey, you're welcome. No, 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 hey, hey, that's not what I meant. I was being sarcastic. Do you know what sarcastic means? Speak all tongue? Yes, yes, hmm? No, actually, I don't. I speak English. English? English? I don't know where you're from, lady, but you're weird. Now you're okay, weird. Okay, so let me go already, all right? Enough with the I'm human so I can boss the bird around shtick. We're all impressed. Sorry, I promised the old man I'd win you back. I need a favor from him badly. Yeah? So what's so important you'd sacrifice a bird's happiness and well-being? The fate of two worlds, billions of people, and the balance. Yeah? Yeah? So... No. Forget it. <laughs> so were you always just Bird? Or did you have a better name? No. It's always been Bird. My full name is That Damn Bird. The Damn Bird. I learned that when I was two weeks old. That Damn Bird, the old man would say, No good ball of feathers! Then he beat me with a stick. Uh. Really? Uh, no. He just stick me in the chest and forget about me. Which is almost as bad as beating, believe you me. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that, bird. You know, if you were my bird, I think I'd call you crow. Yeah, well, I'm my own bird, lady, and I don't... Crow. You'd call me crow? That's a pretty good name. A proper name at least not just an insult anyway i guess i'd better get you back to your master bird he's pining for you all he's pining for is coin to gamble with it's really none of my business sorry <laughs> sure you are <laughs> where did she put the bird but okay Actually, wait, I'm interested what this dude gonna say now.
Yeah, bird, bird. I'm not talking to you, you cheat. Okay. So we're done with this guy. That's that's great. That was bugging me since the beginning of the game, basically as soon as we entered Mercuria. But okay, now we go to the small pier. Wait. It's Crow. It's Crow. Here's your bird, bird, sir. It wasn't easy, but I got him back. I sure hope you're grateful. Bird. Blessed be the balance, me faithful friend and companion be back. <laughs> and into the chest. No, 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 not back in the chest, not in the chest. <laughs> now can you help me get passage on a ship? I, I be a man of me word. Speak ye with Captain Horatio Nebeve of the White Dragon, the ship behind yous. Tell him Umbrianos be sending yous to cash in on that old favor he be owing me. Thanks, old man. I I Hello. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know old Umbrianos, don't you? The old drunk? Aye. He be a good captain once. But ever since he lost his ship, he hasn't been much worth to anyone. Be that as it may, you do owe him a favor, right? Aye, that I do. He saved my life more than once. And I wouldn't be captain of this beautiful lady if it weren't for him. Guess what? I'm here to cash in on that favor. I'll be damned. What did you do for the old geezer? Promise him your hand in marriage? <laughs> Don't you mind that, old boy. Just get ready to sail south. You're giving me a lift to the island of Elias. I mean, since you're already heading for Gien. I am? That could prove a little tricky. How come? For one, there is no wind. That accursed alchemist up north has put some kind of spell on the wind. Yeah. Clax, I believe his name is. Roper Clax. Lives in a bloody rock somewhere beyond Riverwood. As long as he's got his dirty claws on the wind, this vessel ain't going nowhere. Then there's a little problem with my crew. I can't very well leave the harbor without a navigator. And my last one decided he didn't much care for the sea anymore and went off to marry a serving maid. But, okay, let's say I manage to free the wind and find you a new navigator. Then will you drop me off on Elias? Ha! <laughs> you think you will be able to defeat Clax, free the wind, and find me a new navigator? By Jaws pus filled left eye, if you do such a trick, then I... I'll take you wherever you wish to go. Okay. Most likely they'll be holding your funeral within the week, girl. <laughs> Just leave the madman be and let the army deal with him. Never you mind. As long as you keep your promise and take me to Elias. What's with Elias, anyhow? It's been deserted for hundreds of years. Ever since the Dolmari fell victim to the Great Plague. I need to visit the Alation people, to listen to some of their stories. As if there aren't enough stories here. <laughs> it takes all sorts, that be for sure. Okay. Diary. I've turned into everybody's little errand boy, girl, person. I do one favor for one person and boom, I'm running around the entire Northlands solving people's problems. This time it's some whacked out magician, sorry, alchemist, up north somewhere, and he has get this captured the wind. Uh, how the hell do you capture the wind? I mean, 
can you just wave my hand a bit and voila, uh, instant wind. But who am I to argue? Um, magic's never really been my, my forte. So I don't have a choice. I'll have to travel north, try to talk to this alchemist, this roper Klex guy, into releasing the wind, and then come back here. I don't even know how much time we have left before chaos destroys the worlds, but I'll have to hurry. Um, and since I'm not particularly familiar with the way of the Northlands, so to speak, I'll need a map. Map! Map! So, we'll need a map of Northlands. We, we have the map of Northlands. It's a map of the Northlands. Can, can I use it? Can I give it to April to, to read it? No? Okay. Do, do we have anything on the map of the city? Because yeah, we do have a map of Northlands. For some reason we cannot read it yet, maybe. Oh, we have the road north. Okay, but I think we're gonna do that on the next stream. It's been almost six hours. I really not need to go to bed now. So, uh, yeah, we've... Let, let me save first. Keep forgetting to save. Uh, but yeah, we finally solved the puzzle with the bird. We've read a bunch of books. Maybe we will read a little bit more next stream. Because I, I I'm I am curious about some of the uh, some of the books that we haven't read yet. Even though I know that they are not very useful to us, it's still interesting to me to read those books. Um, but yeah, we will continue next time, probably next Friday. Uh, tomorrow is going to be another game development stream, though. So, let's see, can we find someone to raid real quick? Um, do we have someone playing Journey or at least any point-and-click games? I don't know. Yeah, for some reason it's really hard to find some interesting streamers um, in the retro category. For game dev it's a little bit more straightforward. Wait, any maniacs? Any maniacs? And a VTuber. Let's try to read this person. So yeah, we finished uh, a bunch of quests. We are still in chapter 4, but I believe we are near to the end of chapter 4. Because yeah, we did solve a bunch of stuff here. Now we need to go north and figure out the problem with this alchemist. So yeah, we will do that next time. Uh, so yeah, thank you everyone for watching, thank, thank you everyone for hanging out today with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!